seven places were paid, so everyone is in the money. Uh, but what a table we have got to kick us off for the weekend. We'll run you through who we've got in one. You can see there Tom Hall. In two is Michael Kahn. In three is Rav- Ravi Chef. Four, Keith Johnson. Five, Yanis Liparis. And in the sixth seat is Nikolai Mamut. Yeah, amazing stuff. Absolutely an all star lineup. Looking forward to this one. Cards already in the air as we see Nikolai here raising from the small blind, ace eight of clubs. Tom Hall, stalwart of UK poker in the big blind here. King deuce off. Blinds are 20 and 40k. Effective stack around about 35 bigs. Tom just going to let this one go early doors. As you see the chip counts in front of you guys. Yanis Liperes with a monster chip lead. 4.3 million in chips. Good for around about a third of the chips in play. So Jay, normally going to expect a big stack to be pushing pushing the action. Yeah, especially at, at this stack distribution at the table with a further chips in play. Six left there. I think we're going to see Yanis uh, with a fair amount of wide opens getting after it and uh, trying to get the job done. Absolutely, my friend. I'm with you. Speaking of getting the job done, Ravi Chef under the gun here. Pocket Queens, six-handed premium as premium gets. Yeah, Ravi won this. Had a terrific 12-month sort of come onto the scene. Right. Tournament, tournament scene about 12 months ago. Done a double at the Vic, winning two tournaments, and then since then been a fixture on the UK tournament circuit. Uh, hoping to continue the heater here, guys. £35,000, no less, up top. Ravi here opens, makes it 80k with the ladies. Round to Tom. Gets out of the way with the King Five of Hearts. Round to Michael, King 6 0. That's uh, fairly on the line, I think. Maybe start defending the King 9. Off versus a gun, I think, probably going to just get out of there as he does Michael Kahn all the way from Canada looking down his resume seems like he's a bit of a ring chaser seems to play a lot of these WSOP circuit events trying to win some rings especially in Canada overseas so looking forward to seeing Michael play today one of the unknowns to me if you like at the feature table yeah I'm with you don't know too much about Michael well he'll be looking to get the job done yeah, this is a real stacked FT. Really looking forward to it. Yeah, it's going to be a good one. Some real big names. Keith Johnson as well. He's been on sort of some high roller slash super high roller form the last three months. Uh, he's had countless final tables in high rollers or super high rollers in the last three months, staying back to the start of December. So Keith Johnson on some terrific form the last three, four months, especially in these particular events. And Keith here decides to make the type fold. It does have Yanis on his left. I like that lay down with the, the middling offsuit ace. Yanis here with a real one. Ace Jack O, oh, six handed, and open up. And decision here, Jay, for Nikolai with the King Queen. Yeah, it's uh, kind of a tricky one with that sort of middle of the pack in terms of chips. One that we can definitely go for some free bets with versus LP if we want to use this candidate. It does get a bit tricky because we're sitting quite comfortably at the moment, but is happy to attack Yanis, it seems, as Nikolai. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Yanis here are going to be perceived to be extremely wide, of course. Have those hard blockers to the real value hands. He's going to go for it. Makes it 240k. And to Tom Hall. Gets out of the way. Interesting decision now, Jay, for Yanis. Obviously, pretty high up. What our perceived range is going to look like, at least. Tricky yeah. spot here. Round about just a shade under 50 bigs deep. Yeah, spot on, Andrew. Like, how wide we're supposed to open from hijack. Ace jack is actually fairly high up here. And we don't usually expect people to get after us when we're chip leader. So it's just going to go for the discipline lay down there with the ace jack. Nice move from Nikolai. Just make it 325, then. Yeah, well played. You see Nikolai there in third place. The chip rankings. Yanis still with that healthy yeah, chip lead. Just run you guys through the payouts. Sixth place guaranteed at the moment. Just a shade under fifty-two hundred pounds, and we're going to have six point seven k per fifth. Then we get into the five-figure paydays: ten thousand pounds for fourth, fifteen k for third, 
23k per second and the grand prize 35,000 pounds and that world series of poker circuit ring to the winner love a six-handed as well jay six-handed final right into the action that's good yeah. for us six six max one of my favorite variants of poker i think six max is perfect you just got lots of room at the table as well you can stretch your legs you can lean back a bit you're not bumping <laughs> shoulders with someone one of the best formats of poker the old six max and great that we get to cover this final table today yeah, i'm with you my friend Yanis continues to get after it gonna expect to see a lot of this opens up here with ace five from under the gun and I think that's the job at hand for Yanis. Look down at any ace, regardless. Ace deuce off would even be good enough. A lot of suited kings, sure. suited queens. Going to see opens from all these type of holdings. Yeah, round two, Keith in the big with a defendable one. Is the short stack at the table? Is going to flick it in here with Queen Jack O. To the flop is queen four three with two hearts Keith here takes the lead with a top pair Yanis with a gut shot to the wheel and an overcard working for him relatively dry flop in general here versus a bb defend Aaron yeah, looks like just gonna see that with the will draw here as Yanis against a perceived wide defend ranger Keith Keith not going to be going anywhere with a Queen Jack. I think just always going to be playing cool here, facing gun specifically. And off to the turn. It does make the call. And improves to top two. Jack of Spades turn. Great card for Keith. Yeah, and could could potentially be some danger here for Yanis. Uh, Andrew, this Jack of Spades on the turn. Unblocking both suits could be one that, if we do fire turn, could potentially be a triple off here for Yanis. But I think decision if we fire turn would be barreling river as well. It is going to check back, take a freebie. Yeah, agree completely. The river is the 10 of hearts, so Keith here still best. Top two pair. Yanis bricks out just ace high. Yeah. Here, going to look to induce Jay with a river check. Yeah, very nice from Keith. But not taking the bait is Yanis. Very well timed shutdown and sees would have been up against the two pair of Keith. But the short stack back to 30 BBs. A very nice pickup for Keith. A lot of congestion there, Jay, at the bottom of our counts. All three of the shorties around about 1.2 million. Little bit of an ICM cage in some respects, Jay, or you think that the fact that it's sort of six max, that you know a lot of money up top, you a lot experienced lineup, they may just go for the win. Or do we reckon? It, it, it could be the case because it's not. Uh, you don't usually see like a 30 BB as the smallest stack at a final table. There's always usually someone working sure. with let's say at least sub 20, uh, but still plenty of room for the short stacks to make their moves and pick their spots, but. I think if you see someone sort of fade away from the pack, drop down to like sub-20, sub-15 bigs, then maybe uh, there'll be a bit more play based around that stack and whether they get their chips in or whether they bust out. But I think Yanis is the player that's going to love the way the stacks are sat at the moment because people aren't really going to want to get involved too much. And Yanis with the chips does just have the green light to open very wide at the moment. Sure. Well, action on Tom Hall wakes up with a premium himself pocket Queens makes it 80k to go Tom of course one of the most experienced UK players in the world been around forever printing online J printing live printed everywhere uh, is Tom he really Hall 3.3 million in live earnings is actually the winningest player at this final table in terms of resume Pippin Yanis Lipperis by 50k. Point, just 3.3. <laughs> yeah, just the 3.3. 3. 3. Honestly, these, the, such slackers. <laughs> and look, speaking of not being slack, Ravi Shed. Whoa. This is uh, a Ravi special, if you like. Ravi loves to take 
unorthodox spots, but more of a field player sometimes, I feel, at the table, Rabbi. He feels like in his gut it's going to work. He'll get after it, but on the button here, choosing the King 5 off. I think we will actually do a fair amount of free betting with some suited King X here, facing hijack against Tom Stack, but I'm not sure about the offsuit, whether it finds its way in there for Rabbi, but going to attack, but not going to work. Yeah, absolutely not. Tom here with starting the hand with around about 35 bigs. Yeah, I don't think there's no messing about here for Tom. I don't think we get to four bet, not all in at 30 effective. I think it's just going to be an all in from him with the ladies. I can't really see any other avenue here. We're never flattening out of position. So two options then are all in or four bet, not all in. I can't see how we're going to four bet, not all in to a size that would give us like less than half SPR going to the flop so I think we just have to play jam here Andrew as Tom Hall sure. yeah I think the only thing that could consider you to make such a play and go with the click is if you know that your opponent is super out of line we can yeah. see Ravi is getting after it uh, so he's going to go he has found it yeah I think yeah. I quite like it Jay you know try and get your opponent take the bait and to be honest Ravi is one that can take the bait Andrew so I uh, I could get behind it and understand the reasons why if Ravi's just somehow got like an ace five suit and a king queen off you never know he might just go for the five bet send as a bluff but nonetheless Tom takes a nice one very nice pick up for Mr. Tom Hall adding out that chip stack Really buzzed for this one. This is a proper UK All-Star lineup. Yeah, literally. Um, obviously, we got um, Michael Kahn from Canada, but even looking at his resume, he does great stuff overseas at the poker table. So, one to watch as well. But the rest of them, if you watch a lot of UK poker, you should be familiar with all the faces. Action is it back on Tom. Gonna get out of the way here. Round two, Michael. Interesting decision point here, Jay. Working with 30 bigs. Very awkward decision. He's gonna come in for an open though. Is it the ace eight? Action back on Ravi. We'll just see him go for it with the king five. Gonna get out of the way with king seven. Yeah, and Keith got a decision here with the ace three suited on the button. Blinds just going up this hand, so now only working with 24. Four, two, potentially two. one we could use as the three bet bluff. Six. And is going for it. Is it 250k to go? Yeah, nicely done by Keith. Yeah, perhaps a little illustration of how these players are going to approach this FT. Everyone's taking the spots, Jay, right yeah. off the bat. Yeah, I'll nice little it. candidate to use there, the old suit in Wheel Ace. I've watched a lot of Keith, Andrew, over the last sort of six months. He just seems to make yeah. every high roller final table. He's always there. And the, the man plays some very good poker. Does some very nice stuff. Very solid as well. Picks his spots meticulously. And no wonder he's getting the results he's had over the last few months at these high roller final tables. Keith will be hoping to continue that trend today. Really has been on somewhat of a tear in the high roller scene. As we see Michael can get out of the way with the jack four. Keith likely to be back in the mix once more. King 10 of diamonds here in the cutoff. Working just a shade under 30 blinds. Yeah, seems like one that's just 100% open. No questions asked. Round two, Tom Hall. Yeah, eight six offsuit. 
not the most appetising prospect in the big blind. But as the cover is stacked, we do get to defend slightly wide up from the big. And this one may just be slightly too low down for Tom. He's just going to let Keith get the raise and take through. Keith Johnson, 1.1 million in live earnings to his name. And a great little stat about Keith Andrew. The last six tournaments he's played. Oh, here all, we go. Yeah. Have all been over a 1K buy-in. Right. And he has managed to final table all six of them. I mean, uh, you, talk you, about you. consistency from the big chap. That's it outrageous. Unbelievable, ain't it? He's just always there. Whenever I'm doing a final table, he's just there at the moment. Keith Johnson, <laughs> he's just a fixture. Six in a row. Six in a row, go. It's just, this is Six number seven. Seven in a row. Yeah, this will be seven. Brilliant stuff. Fair play. Oh, I don't know what's in that orange juice, but it's obviously doing the job. But <laughs> we see Ravi opening here with King Jack of Clubs. Six handed under the gun. And fold round to Michael Can here. Nine, ten off. Yeah, Looking with losing. 20 big blinds. Lost a couple of small pots now. The short stack. I think we do get to defend here. 10 9 off. Heads up here. Even facing gun. Getting four and a half to one on the call. Expect to see defend. That we do. It does flick in the calling chip. You guys can see those green chips, 100k in value. Pink's 25k and the yellow's five. After the flop, ace, three, four. Two hearts, one club. Compete with for Michael. Ravi here with the betting lead. Very likely to just take this one down post. Yeah, especially with his hand as well. Three to a flush, three to a straight. Just seems like a nice continue on the ace high board. May go small up. Than usual with FTs do tend to scale down our sizes just meaning if like we usually go third normal point of the tournament at final table we might go quarter when we usually go quarter yep. we might go 20% just sort of scaling down that size does up for quarter pot and does the trick yeah Michael very unlikely to defend too too many three and four X at the final table easy pick up for Ravi consolidates second chip position I don't know too much about Ravi J. I know that you're you'll have covered him a little bit more than me, I would say. And he's been on somewhat of a tear, right, over the last yeah. sort of twelve months. Yeah, well it was actually a uh, WSOP circuit event that he got his biggest live score, hundred and forty K back in August of last year, finished fourth in that one for hundred and forty thousand pounds. That was the three K main event buy in. Uh, so that's his biggest live score, but it sort of all kicked off a month before that. Uh, where he was at the Vic, won two tournaments back to back, not just small tournaments either, big tournaments, decent payday for both. And then since then, uh, we've just seen him regularly support the UK when it comes to poker, and he's at pretty much every stop. Yeah, very nice work from Ravi. We'll be hoping to continue things today as we see Yanis get back after it. It's 10 off in the hijack. Round to Tom, interesting candidate, ace seven off, could potentially be some shenanigans and some three-bit folding, does decide to get out of the way with this one, a little too weak. Round to Ravi with that eight six off, let's it go. So pick up for Yanis, and another one we could talk about for days, almost done it all. Yanis, cash is everywhere you go when you look at his resume. Considering uh, we're at the uh, high roller final table as well, good time to throw up another little, another little uh, stat about Yanis. When he uh, oh, played the, yeah, when, he, the, when he played the high roller final table last year in Monte Carlo, uh, he ended up winning it. But he didn't only just end up winning it; he managed to knock out all eight players as well. I mean, how is that even a thing? It's, it's, it's hard to do, right? <laughs> it is hard to do. Very right? hard. Nine-man final table, you knock out all eight players and you are the champion. Quite the pedigree on a bunch of these players. 
see Yanis get out of the way. Dusty looking seven high. Bound to Nikolai Mamut. King six of hearts in the hijack. You already referenced, Jay, a lot of these ace and king x going to be opened, but deciding to get out of the way here. Does have a kind of awkward stack size, lets it go. I'm going to Ravi 730. And one we uh, could potentially get in the mix with. Got two x Keith stack, we do get to pressurize. It does exactly that with bottom of range and does get Keith out of that. Yeah, one of those adjustments you see, Jay, right, at these finals, players very aware of the sort of ICM pressure that they can put on these low to midland stacks. Yep. Ravi pouncing on it, gets after it, takes it down. This is a tough table. I'm, I'm very excited to see this one pan out. Yeah, really, really tough. It's uh, one of the toughest you're going to get, probably. Everyone uh, been here before, used to playing for big money. All very, very good poker players. And even Nikolai Mamu, uh see a lot of him more in the higher, higher roller stuff. Played in Triton earlier on last year. I think he plays some extortionate cash games as well. So a lot of faces here. Absolutely. Round two, Ravi. Five, six suited on the button. Looks like he's mixing in a limp here, Jay. Yeah, a, little, a little adjustment with Yanis in the big. Yeah, exactly that. Don't mind it all here from Ravi. Just recognising, don't really want to play pots, big pots with Yanis. So try and keep it as small as possible. Start by a limp. Brings Keith in with a complete in the small. Yeah, an interesting spot for Yanis. Queen Jack of Spades. Certainly a candidate to bump it up. And he is going to do so. Potentially thinks that Ravi, you know, 60 bigs deep. Most of his premiums are liable to still just open, I would suggest. Yeah. Going to make this one 275 to go. No, I'm guessing Look at this. <laughs> oh, wow. Four free Ravi. bet was coming, but it does go with call. <laughs> yeah, Ravi decide then. Well, I've limped this one. I'm going to see three. Makes the call. What swelling. 650k in the middle. Spades would be a disaster. Six in the window. <laughs> followed by another six and a jack. My goodness, Jay. Big trouble incoming. It's just the life of Ravi, to be fair, Andrew. Just the life of Ravi wow. flopping trip sixes. Very nice check here from Yanis, by the way. Uh, over to, to Ravi. Let him take the initiative with position. And I don't oh, think that's going to get nasty, though, Jay. It is. It is because Yanis is going to have check. to call at least two streets here once we opt to check flop. Absolutely. Dangerous waters ahead as Ravi. That's 180k. Yanis here probably thinking that he's trapping in many respects. Makes the check call. It's, it's going to be tough, Jay, right? To give Ravi too many 6x. Going to make this very dicey. Turn and come in. King of Diamonds. Yeah, I think Rolls really. Off on the turn. Really good one to see for Yanis. Because, like, some of the bluffs on this board, the stuff like King Queen, the King 10, sort of suited, right. wrap, wrap around that jack, could be a card that does potentially connect with some of Ravi's bluffs on the flop. But Ravi goes with a check back on this King turn. Very interesting hand, of course. This king going to be perceived to hit Yanis fairly hard also. Yeah, so so Ravi content to lay the trap. River is a deuce. Decision back on Yanis, Jay. Couple of options. <coughs> Could go for block, potentially. This is an interesting spot. And he's going to check it over. Now it just comes down to size as Ravi. And what it looks like, Yanis's range could be here. Do we make the assumption that he's going to start leading his King X? Right. 
if we do make that assumption, that we then opt for a smaller size to target some stuff like the Jack X and 10 through 7s. Super interesting spot here early at the FT as Ravi burns a time bank. One million in the middle, 2.6 million back. It really doesn't seem clear what size to use here, whether we, we do get greedy and go big or whether we size down for the reason that maybe we assume that Yanis is going to start leading some King X on the rib up. It does look meaty. Right. Yeah, looks like three quarter pot to me, Jay. Around about the 750 to 800k mark. This is real tricky for Yanis. What hands does our opponent limp call the 5x? Bet flop, check turn, and then blast river. Yeah, I think the, the main candidates are the king queen, the king 10. Would right. have to be suited though. Might peel the king queen off actually pre when we limp button, but like king 10 off will probably just muck it. So king 10 suited, king queen. I guess these are the hands that we're going to have, but Yanish doesn't take Look much time. This. Just let's see. Brilliant go. stuff. Fascinating hand, and Yanis showing his experience there. Does feel somewhat under Bluff J, right? I mean, obviously, we can see that Ravi had a six. This sort of bet, flop, check, turn, and blast river. Yanis, great lay down, great hand. Yeah, definitely a spot that I think is under Bluff. I think you've the nail on the head when you say that. It's difficult for Ravi to continue firing once that king rolls off which is perceived right. a lot better for Yanis. does become very difficult to continue setting the barrels in if we were sat there with let's say a queen 10 ace 10 something like that but Yanis not taking much time decision making on point early in this ft yeah i mean basically emerges pretty unscathed jay on really just lost 180k post yep and he will get the good news eventually from those following the stream. Guys, if you are just joining us, World Series of Poker Circuit High Roller Final Table. We have more action coming up for you guys through the week. Going to have a big stakes cash game tomorrow. Myself and Jay will be back in the booth. And then we are going to have a World Series of Poker Circuit main event. Final table stages on the 24th. So we hope you will join us for that. Of course, coming to you from Dustle Dawn in Nottingham. Great start, Jay. I've enjoyed it already. Everyone's seemingly on point, taking all the spots. Yeah. Going to be a good one. It's uh, it's interesting now though because uh, Ravi and Yanis almost identical stacks at the top of the pack. When we come in, Yanis had a clear chip lead, but Ravi pulled some back first half hour of this and neck and neck at top of the shop now for them to. Yeah, pretty cool illustration there of Ravi's mentality. Three betting King Five off early doors, limp call in the five six suited. Gonna be spicy. The action back on Tom Hall under the gun here. Gonna get out of the way. Queen ten. Tom just one of those players, Jay. So solid. Just gonna make so infrequent mistakes, in my opinion. Probably one of the most accomplished theory players at this table, I would suggest. Yeah, I think I agree with you. So many final tables, not just that when he started back in the day. Uh, Tom Hall was mainly just grinding sit and goes. And as you know, with sit and goes, a lot of ICM, if you get your ICM down to a T, when you're playing your sit and guys, you're going to make a lot of money. And uh, Daro Kearney yeah. actually said himself, Tom's probably one of the best players out there when it comes to ICM. So no surprise he does so well at these final tables whenever he, he is here. Yeah, I'm with you. Interesting decision point once again for Mr. Mamut. Opened by Keith on the button. King seven of clubs. Yanis electing to land on call. Queen eight of clubs in the small. Nikolai here. Ace nine o. Oh. Some potential to squeeze here, I think, Jay. Maybe. It does land on call. Maybe slightly too high up versus button specifically. Maybe like we, we dip lower down into like the ace four, sure. the ace five, the ace six, this type of stuff. So like can still definitely have, have the best hand. 
Like it's it's very oh, wow. difficult. It's very difficult to fold out worse once button opens from the big blind. Once we squeeze Ace Nine, I guess maybe Ace Ten off we we get out of there. But there's not many better hands that we really get to fold. I don't think as Nikolite. Sure, and it does come Queen Jack Ten. A little something for everybody here. Heath going to continue with the betting lead. Does have that open-ended straight draw to Broadway. Backdoor clubs working for him. Yanis with top pair and a gut shot to the low end of the straight. He is going to make the call. Nikolai, that sort of double gutter. King yeah. or an eight working for him. Very interesting. Yeah, can't be going anywhere getting this price. Just over four and a half to one in the call. Can just take our price to the turn. Not comfortable though, Jay, though, right? I guess Ace King is then there for keep the times that it does roll off uh, an eight, and we are dead versus Ace King to a chop. But I think getting this price very difficult to let this one go, and does make the call off to the turn. I'm with you. Relatively infrequent at finals, three ways to this turn. It is the blankest of blanks, Deuce of Spades. So Yanis here at still best, of course. Can't be feeling too comfortable about it. What, what do we do now, Jay, as Keith? Very tricky. Facing two calls. Yeah, we've got the advantage of Ace King. We block King 9 suited. But it's very difficult to continue barreling to two opponents. Maybe we go heads up to the turn. There's argument for a double barrel, but into both. Seems optimistic, so does knuckle it back and uh, off to the river. Yeah, I'm with you. And it does brick out. Six of Hearts River. So Yanis with the check mark. He's found himself in a few tricky spots here. Early doors. Does have the best hand at River. Again, Jay. A couple of options here. To check. Potentially block. But may open the door for his opponents. And how about Nikolai here for a, for a combo to bluff, potentially? Although maybe irrelevant once turn checks through, as we're going to hear about Ace-King from Keith on the turn once we go three ways. So only removal to, like, King-9 and 8-9 suited of Yanis. So maybe kind of irrelevant with the Ace-9 high here for Nikolai. He's going to check yeah, it over gonna to He's going to recognise his hand's no good, but does it give up. As does Keith, Yanis is going to be pretty happy, Jay. I'd suggest to see that one check through. It's up a nice medium-sized pot. Back up to 4.1 million in chips. Retakes the chip lead. Ravi Sheh, close behind, 3.6 million. Nikolai and Tom, and about the 30 big blind mark. Keith and Michael can on the shorter stacks, but still with plenty of wiggle room. Somewhat spoiled already here. A bunch of fas fascinating hands. You see our beautiful wide screen in the background. Yeah, that's a great shot that is. Here at DTD. Yeah, beautiful stuff. Me and you, Jay, we, we, we spend enough time in the booth to recognize some beautiful production from our production team, so kudos to them. Yeah, of course. It does look fantastic, the old... The backdrop there, the wide shot of the players. Credit to the guys behind the scenes. That stuff goes way over my head, Jay Pal. I just sit the booth with you. <laughs> I'm the sit same, the booth mate. with you and call the action. <laughs> Wake up, put the kettle on, do a bit of prep, and then ready in the booth. That's it, pal. Off we go. <laughs> As we see Yanis getting back after it. Queen Jack O. Let's size up here, two and a half X. We get it done. Tom with just the eight deuce suited. See the sh short stack at the table, Michael. Still with 17 bigs to work with. 20 bigs or so for Keith Johnson. There is going to come a point though, Jay, right? 40 minute clock. I'm not sure if we reference that, but we are on a 40 minute clock here. When we move up the next sort of level or so, going to start leveraging quite a bit of pressure, right, on these medium stacks. Yeah, I think uh, well, in an hour and a half time, and when we jump up two yeah. levels, suddenly going to be at the AEK level, and obviously now that would be just over ten bigs from Michael. So with that forty-minute clock, it does catch up with you quickly. Now 
And action back on Ravi. Going to come in for an open with the 6 7 suited. Makes it 100k to go. Yanis with an interesting one. Knows that Ravi is a spicy customer. Yep. Ace 9 off. Could fall into the 3 bet bluff bracket, Jay. Yeah, I think especially versus gun as well because then we do fold ace 10, we do fold ace jack off. And as you say, when Ravi opens as wide as he does, these are the type of opponents we can get after. A lovely little free bet here from Yanis. Always fine with Yanis as well. How immaculate is his timing, Andrew? Just seems like oh, right. always like knows. So far. He does, and managed to lose the minimum in that potential post-flop cooler a few moments ago. Timing is right here once more, Jay, as you reference, gets this one through with no resistance. I think, I think Ravi aware, even though he's a spicy customer, you know, he knows he's out of position. Don't want to play inflated ones out of position at the chip leader. Gets out of the way. Of course, in no limit. Position is everything. Nice pickup for Yanis. Back up to 4.3 mil. As we reference, guys, we do have more action for you coming up later in the week. Tomorrow we have our big stakes cash game. Myself and Jay will be live once more covering the action. And if you guys want anything, any knowledge to do with what's happening at DTD, please follow our socials at DTD Club and at DTD Player. Big things coming as we proceed through the year. Around to Tom Hall, Queen Jack of Spades. Haven't seen much from Tom so far, but this one going to be getting played. I think Tom just understanding the job as hand as one of these uh, shorter stacks. I think he's sitting... Uh, Four of six. Just always want to sit there quietly, not get involved unless we need to let action occur around us. And it's just oh, going to go the for triangle. the jam here. Wow. Okay, that's one way to get it done. Yeah, perhaps thinking, Jay, that Ravi going to give him a lot of problems. You know, if Ravi three bets, his hand can become super awkward. Deciding just to run this, take his equity. I think Equity what it against I, potential call. I think what it was is that uh, Michael uh, only had like 16 in the small, and then right. we just shove we just shove him for like 28 effective against Ravi. So it's it's 16 in the small, 28 effective against Ravi. So it does make sense. Like we got Queen Jack suited blind on blind. I guess one that wouldn't be out of the realms of possibility to shove small on big. So with Michael sitting sure. there short with 16, does make sense why Tom might elect to just move in with that one. And it's awful yeah, as well. How, it's how, how horrible is it, Andrew, when you've got Queen Jack suited, 28 effective. You open the button and Ravi just sets us in. It's just sure. It's just puke. Even if Michael 3-bet jams, right, it becomes real nasty. Yeah. Deciding yeah. that his hand is too good, would rather just put it in first himself. Just an illustration about Tom there. I don't think many players find that jam in game. He's very well studied, knows his stuff. Sends it in and gets it through. If I find that jam in game, Andrew, I run into aces in the big blind. <laughs> <laughs> That's what usually I know, happens. you look so foolish, right? You look so foolish. <laughs> the old table's looking at you like, what's he done here? <laughs> Ravi here, deciding just just to complete 7 8 0. Keith, 20 blinds, ace 10 off. Wouldn't be out of the realms, Jay, to just ram this one in ourselves, but it's yeah. just going to go for a smaller ISO. I think it's important when we do ISO this hand, though, that we have the idea that we're ISO into call, otherwise we might as well just yeah. just jam it off as Keith. Like, I don't think we want to make that three BBs and then fold to a jam blind on blind there. So maybe we had the idea to induce from Ravi, who is capable. Yeah, look to target some... Asex and some Broadway types that Ravi may limp jam himself. In any case, just gets out of the way. Cards back in the air. Nikolai here 
10 fiber parts and let it go. As does Tom Hall. Down to Michael Can. All of a sudden, Jay, he hasn't really done a whole lot wrong, but down to 15 blinds. Of course, six handed blinds and antis eating us up. Yeah, that's the thing. Coming around thick and fast. If we can't find a hand as Michael, there's not much we can really do. Can't just be getting involved with a couple of spanners. Need to wait for a hand or a spot. <laughs> And Keith here attempting to limp with the suited queen. Likely to get to C3. Yanis does allow it. A little bit of balance here. Going to check one of his stronger hands. Don't mind it, actually. Can keep in some hands we dominate. And we can see he does dominate. Checks back the king-queen. Ace, eight, jack. Rainbow. Yanis here still best. The king high. Got shot to Broadway. Yeah, Keep's got one that might want to do. He's going to go for a little stab. Seems like a nice, tidy little one to use. The queen in hand and backdoor flush draw. Yanis with a nut high hand, not going anywhere. It'll make the cool with position. It makes a lot of sense. Keith trying to pick it up. It does improve to a queen high flush draw. Super interesting spot, Jay. Of course, Yanis could have a bunch of 8x here out of the big. Calling one big blind. Going to have some jack x. Man's like 9, 10, 7, yeah. 9 types. Unlikely to have too many ace x, I think. Yeah, and do it. Keith limps off 20. Yeah, do expect a lot of the ace x to raise, pretty, especially off suit one. Maybe do some checking with the suited variety. That turn, go and check, check. Off to the river. Is a third eight. Not the most appetizing spot for Keith to bluff. Yeah, I does just... wave the white flag, makes some sense. Can just occasionally win, right, Jay, at showdown, not too, yeah. too often. But does decide to give this one up. Yanis content to knuckle it back with King High. Gets the good news. Let's have another small one. There you see, Michael, with just 14 bigs now. Going to be looking for a spot to get those in. Everybody, if you are just tuning in, we are here for the WSOP circuit event. This is the high roll-up, the 2K. We're playing for £35,000. We're down to a final table of six. And I'm joined by Andrew Headley. We're going to be taking you through proceedings today. And it's already started great. And basically, yeah, really enjoying it. Everyone on point. Yeah. I can't, can't really pick out any weak play, Jay. You know, we love to give them some criticism. Yeah. And like <laughs> pretend that we would play perfectly. You know? Yeah, what we do. Jay, Jay Harwood are on this final. It would be not perfect. Of course it would. Of course it would. <laughs> Spe speaking of that, who are you playing with the, t the tag team with in Vegas this year? Because we, we always play every spot perfectly. So. Uh, Surely, you, surely, we, surely on, we got to win not? it, right? Yeah, we got to jump in. We've got to jump in. <laughs> uh, you know what? Let's let's give a little teaser to the viewers. Me and you will play the tag team, and let's give away a percentage on the cash stream tomorrow. Okay, to viewer. that sounds that sounds fair. Uh, just right, gonna jump it. back into things because Yanis yeah. here goes for it with a jack eight suited. Going off the Ravi with pocket tens, who's not going to want to play a huge pot here as Ravi. Yeah, I mean, this is faintly grim, right? I mean, yeah. you know, of course, for chips, for chips, we're more than happy to get in the mix here. Pocket tens. All of a sudden, we're playing a 1.2 million pot headed to the flop. And certainly does feel too strong to fold. Does make the call. Big flop incoming. 
And my goodness, how is your luck, Ravi Chef? Facing an aggressive chip leader, flops a ball. King, King 10. Giannis now, treacherous potential waters. Yeah, has somewhat, has pretty much basically completely whiffed Jay Wright, which may be a saving grace. He's yeah. going to go for a small stab. I think one and done here for Yanis. What we're going to see a lot of the time when you just completely whiff the board, bottom of range, I think just one stab and done. Like fold out Ravi's like nines, eights, sevens, some slight right. suited ace hex perhaps in there as well that elected to peel. Um, but I don't think we'll see Yanis put another penny in the pot here, Andrew. I think it's a one and done hand and. Now we're just going to be checking. Yeah, inclined to agree. Off to the turn. Perhaps mercifully for Yanis is a blank. Five of hearts. As you referenced, Jay, once Ravi calls this like big three bet pre, right? 11 bigs and calls flop. Starts to narrow that continue range substantially. I'd be very surprised if Yanis uh, continued barreling here. Oh That's my goodness, he's looking. Surprised I'm going to be. I guess one thing, we have the jack of clubs in our hand. Uh, Ravi would fold wow. King Jack off and King Jack of clubs, not a thing. But Yanis just going after it. Wow, that's pretty big too. One million. Imagine if Ravi could find the flat here. Imagine if he could I mean, just find the call right? button. Yeah. I think he's got it. I don't think he'll do anything else. The, the thing is, once once Giannis double barrels here, I'm going to be thinking, oh my, oh my lord, he's got ace king. He's got king queen. He's got a hand. The call. Oh, massive pot. What Biggest pot on? of the tournament. Makes the call. Four million in the middle. Ravi with one third pot back. Yanis, dicey, dicey waters. Surely. I think, I think potentially Jay trying to fold out a 10 on the turn, a hand like ace jack, ace queen suited. Yeah. Right? That potentially Ravi won't be able to play for stacks pre. That has given it up. Yeah. Wisely so. Slam the anchors on. And Ravi going to be moving all in and not going to be getting paid. Will be a snap fall from Yanis. And Yanis going after it here and unfortunately backfiring. Went for the double gotta, barrel. Got to admire the heart, Jay. But probably thinking, to be fair, that his opponent going to have to probably fold all 10x. May only be able to continue with a king. Of course, when you have pocket 10s, makes life a lot easier. Ravi, a little bit of Hollywood, Jay. Let's yep. let's let let's pretend we could bluff River. <laughs> <laughs> let's pretend we can have the Queen Jack of Hearts. Let's just pretend <laughs> right. it's in there once in a while. Does send the rest of the soldiers into battle. Yanis, snap fold. No Hollywood here and a big swing jay at the ft that is a massive swing look at this ravi now double the chip stack of second place massive swing in the context of this high roller ft yeah i know i'm gonna say now seat belt on andrew because uh, ravi with the chip lead <laughs> the man can go pretty mental with a chip lead i've seen him before at the top of the pack and uh, i think we're gonna see a bit of a show now from ravi chef now that he's got these chips in front of him. Looking forward to see how the next couple of hours pans out. Yeah, what a hand. What a feeling. You flop a boat. Your opponent blasting off into you. Huge pot for Ravi. Now working with over 100 bigs. Do you think Yanis there maybe thinks that Ravi's just floating too wide against that size as well, perhaps? Like he's going to call too much with position, getting four to one on a call could be the, the idea of a double barrel there from Yanis. Yeah, no, I mean, no. potentially just... Yeah, go on, sorry, mate. He just knows his customer, perhaps, knows how Ravi plays, knows that he floats extremely wide with position and maybe just targeting that part of his range, just like all the free to flush, free to straight hands with the jack eight at clubs. Interesting one. 
Yeah, potentially just trying to cage, you know, a hand like Ace 10 suited even is really in a nasty spot on the turn. Hands like Queen Jack, like you referenced, some of the floaty type stuff, unfortunately for him, ran into top of range. Real Giannis though, hand. of course, very experienced, will recalibrate, still in great shape here. Action on Keith. Little tank here with Queen 7. They can't do anything but fold up Keith, it seems. We'll leave room for Yanis to open on the button. Does just that. The ace eight. Around to Tom Hall. In 7 0. Certainly a hand that we would defend for chips. But again, this dicey sort of. ICM world we live in, Jay. Tricky spot. It's a complex world, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> Tom's giving me undercover FBI agent vibes in the, <laughs> in the film where, you know, in films where they try to look inconspicuous, but actually stand out like a sore thumb. Yeah. He's even got the earpiece in to listen to the, you know, to listen to the bosses. Looks like going to be folded here, though, with the King-7 yeah. after that posture. Yeah, I like it. I must say, Tom Hall as well, one of one of the best people in poker, one of the kindest he's people. He's such a nice guy, you know. Yeah, like you'll ever meet. He, he really is the best. He's so funny. We was doing some comms together, me, me and Tom Hall, uh, earlier on right. this year. We are doing some commentary together. And uh, after we finish the comms, he's going to me, RJ, oh, thanks so much. I'm so happy you let me come in the comms booth. And I'm like, what, what on earth are you talking about, Tom? We've got one of the greatest poker minds in the country, a chance to chat to him and listen to what he's got to say. And he's thanking us for coming in the comms and letting him do some commentary when we're always happy to hear his insights and what he's got to say. One of, the, uh, one of my favourite people in the UK when it comes to poker. You know what they say, Jay, all poker players wish they were commentators at heart, right? 100%. <laughs> Obviously. And, uh, you know what they say about us as well, all commentators <laughs> wish our poker players, Andrew. <laughs> Don't know what you're talking about, my friend. <laughs> Sam, I've seen you've been uh, getting on all right overseas recently. You've been doing all right, putting in some results out there. Well, we will come back to me talking about myself in a moment because Tom Hall has found the Rockets. Pocket aces in the small. Very interesting spot, of course. Ravi going to be perceived to be incredibly wide. It does have a real hand of sorts with the king queen. Tom here debating sizing. Do we ever trap Jay with Michael Short in the big? Do, do, do you know what? That's what I was just thinking. Not because, necessarily yeah. Michael Short, but because if Tom's aware of how much Ravi gets after it with the chip lead, I might flat for that reason as well. Like Ravi could have like a six off here, which we just have dead pre-flop. Like he can right. have a ridiculous amount of hands, a lot of ASEX in there, which we've got drawing so slim in terms of equity. But it just seems pretty wild to flat let the big blind in and then split equity three way out of position to two sure tom does land on three bet yeah i think this is the best approach make it a size that could potentially induce something from ravi and he may induce versus ravi's hand andrew yeah he might he really could ravi he's got everything right so far here first real dicey spot we see Tom bump it up, makes it seven bigs or so to go pre. This is very tricky. We may think we're over folding Jay, right? If we fold a hand as good as this, of course, super tricky spot. One a free bet from sub 30 bigs. One thing that I will say, we have open from gun, so Tom's probably less inclined to bluff against the gun open and as well as that you've got Michael now sitting there blinds just gone up again he's got 11 BBs I think as well is Tom really going to sure. throw in some bluffs at this stage probably going to be going through Ravi's head right now like, it's going to be difficult for Tom to like find a bluff here even if Tom looks down at like a, an ace five suited a, a king queen off it's still difficult to make the free bet bluff at this stage so 
taking all of that into account, I think we may actually just see fold from Ravi, but it's Ravi Chef, and if anyone will four bets end this as a bluff, blocking the kings and the queens. Right. This man. One time bank already burned. Those time banks, folks, get you 30 seconds additional time. Can Ravi find the right decision? And he certainly can. Well played. Not perfect so far from Ravi. So Dodges the potential cards, pothole. Yeah. We'll see. Well, nice lay down. Three battle cards, yeah? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Tricky, Jay, right? When, you, when, when you've been winning every part, you know, you might get a little bit of winner's tilt, yeah. if we can call it that. Huh? And think, I don't know. <laughs> you, know hey, you, 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 you can be bluffing. You can be bluffing. Yeah. I'm just going to put it in. <laughs> Very nice. Well, good discipline. On King, King, Could have had Ace, Queen of Hearts, Ace, Jack of Hearts. Jack of we are just joining us, guys. Welcome along. Yeah. Big series of poker circuit event. High roller final table. We are still six handed. All six in contention for that World Series of Poker circuit ring title. £35,000 up top. We see Yanis here in the hijack. Ace 8 off. A little bit of a dicey start for Yanis so far. Getting back after it. Lines are up, Jay. We did reference 40 minute clock. Lines now 30, 60k with a 60k big blind ante. Round two, our chip leader, Mr. Ravi Chef. Very dusty little 7 3 off. With that we're going to tangle. Suited variety we'd be in. Off suit. Just going to let Yanis get the raise and take through. The reoccurring thing that happens. Yanis going to be happy to just consolidate. Still in great shape, Jay Wright. Very experienced player. We spoke about this earlier. Still, still got plenty to work with. Shade under 50 blinds. Yeah, he won't be panicking. Been here many a time. Maybe the Jack 8 of clubs hand might be running through the head. I mean, understand. it's always easy for us in the booth, right, oh, to sit so and go, easy. oh, my word, he's blasting it off. But do you think, you know, perceived ranges, if if you're putting your opponent in the absolute cage with a hand as good as ace-queen in that spot, for example, or yep. a strong 10, you know, it really can't be that bad. Your opponent but, needs needs a king or better, most likely, to continue. And exactly that. We've, and to be yeah. fair, with, with Jack of Clubs in our hand, we don't expect Ravi to continue any offsuit. King X, King 10 suited, blocked on the right. board. Jack of Clubs in our hand. So, so it does actually make sense. Maybe expect Ace King to just go with it. So uh, not actually too much King X out there for Ravi when you actually look at it from that perspective. So when you delve deeper into it, maybe there's some reasons behind it. But still sitting pretty in second in chips is Yanis. Yeah, I'm with you. Now, Nikolai, opening sevens. One of these spots, somewhat awkward. You know, we open, do have the big stack in the small blind and some re-jam stacks behind, but Nikolai is going to open it. And now, Ravi, King 10 O could have some nefarious thoughts, Jay. We can put a lot of pressure on Nikolai here with Keith and Michael on the short stacks. Do you think he'll just play Jan here uh, at uh, 23 effective at Nikolai and only 15 effective? I think you can still three bet fold actually with, you know, I think Nikolai is still going to have enough hands that just have to fold to three bet. You know, even here with sevens, faintly grim spot. Ravi has found it, makes it five blinds. Big fan of this sizing. I think, you know, if, if we are just targeting hands that will raise and have to fold to three bet. You can go very small here, yep. Nikolai, with just over 20 bigs back. Yeah, very Keith has to fold king-queen. Yeah, difficult for Nikolai to ever peel off this stack size. So right. And Ravi making it a nice size that gives us room to fold if our opponent does move in and don't want to make it a big size that prices us in, theoretically. So yeah, <laughs> seems good. And now, really tough one, sevens, really grim ones at final tables because got no removal to like the strongest hands can be drawn to just two outs. Seems yeah. like a really grim spot, this one for Nikolai. 
<laughs> I don't envy him. It does feel like one of those spots where you either get snapped off and you're in horrific shape, or you get a snap fold up to Nikolai to decide which one it's going to be. <coughs> Very tricky. I think in these spots, first thing we ask ourselves is where's the lines? Like, where? What's the hands that we're definitely going with? We're definitely going with tens. We're probably going with nines. Do we go with eights? Well, is he going to call? He's finding the peel. Oh, yes. I think the size is so small, Jay. We are in position. Yeah, I get to see one a of flop. These, one of these where our opponent is going to have a bunch of pre-flop bluffs. You know, these one high card, one low card that we potentially have in like fairly bad shape it is very tricky, but does find peel. Jack 4-4, four, four. spade, spade, heart. Abby here, King of Hearts, 10 of Spades in hand, with the betting lead. So we've been spoiled here, Jay. A lot of fascinating hands thus far. Does make the C bet. Yeah, some very nice stuff from everyone. And Nikolai here with sevens, only one overcard to contend with. Surely going to be calling, getting six to one on his money here. This is this is one of the things of Andrew. It's like a lot of guesswork post flop because Rabi's range should be pretty wide and very yeah. hard to flop an over pair with seven. So it's a lot of guesswork down the streets of where we're at in the hand, what our opponent's range looks like, and it does become very difficult. But with position, Nikolai happy to navigate. Makes the call to the turn. Yeah, I do agree. And it's one of the cards Nikolai did not want to see. Ace of Hearts rolling off on the turn. Really interesting spot. Ravi will be thinking to himself, what hands does my opponent defend here pre and call flop off this kind of shallow stack size? But undeterred, here he comes. I love the small sizing as well with King of Hearts, Tennis Bates, potential to shove on flush completing rivers as a free barrel. And now Nikolai Seven's just in the absolute bin and can't do anything oh, it's here. Disaster. Just have to fold as Nikolai. Can't see any well where we continue here now. And well played, yeah. Ravi Chef. Very nicely done. Sevens too low down the range. It's the Ravi Chef show. Oh my goodness, that's a tongue twister. He gets it done. Very nicely done. Well played. Ravi inching towards that buzzsaw stack, Jay, where he can really do what he wants. Closing in on six million. Yeah, going back to um, what we were talking about before the Aces, and you were going to let me know about how your adventures are going overseas, and then it was cut short, <laughs> and then you didn't come back to it, so maybe it's not going as well as I thought it was. There's, there's, there's too many fascinating hands, what do you want from me? <laughs> there is. Uh, yeah, have been, over, have been over in Vegas playing the win series. It's been going really well. I've been keeping every tournament. Too many crossbars, though, Jay, for my liking. That's the problem. I don't like crossbars. Going good, going good. Profit has thing. been locked. Eventually, if you keep putting yourself there, eventually you get over the line. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah, that's sorry, yeah, yeah. And you got the tag team locked up for the summer anyway, so that's that's one coming. Right, I'm in, mate. I'm 100% I'm in, let's, let's do it. Let's we'll, do, we'll, do, we'll do a giveaway tomorrow on... Uh, on the cash night stream. I think we should. Cash night stream. I think, I, th I, think it, I think it's a pretty cool idea. Agreed. Anyway, back to the action. Really feel sure, spoiled sure, thus far. A lot of fascinating post-flop yeah, yeah, yeah. spots that you don't often get at final tables. You know, we see a lot of raise and take it. A lot of overly cautious play, but everybody here getting after it. Great to see. Lines 30, 60K, Michael Can on the short stack, going to be looking to get something going. I mean, it's of no fault of his own, Jay. He's just been dealt out on the sub-10 big blind realm now. Well, and there we go. Has woken up with a potential jam. ACO. 10 bigs, just, just sending this in, Jay. Yeah, I think fairly easy one for Michael. One that we're happy to look down at. I think actually probably the best hand he's been dealt all FT. Distribution has been bottom of the barrel for Michael and
just had to sit there and fall, but now does get the opportunity to say those words. Yeah, in they go. Wondered if he would potentially half stack here in case we get, you know, a jam from Keith and a call from Yanis. Does put it in, and unfortunately for Michael, Keith Johnson's found the pocket jacks. We can have our first final table all in moments. Here it comes. Keith puts it in. Michael can at risk. Going to need to improve here, Jay. Looking for one of the remaining three aces in the deck, but he's going to be out in six. Yeah, it's an annoying Very game. Unfortunate. Michael not per foot wrong all left team. We're going to have to win this 30-70. Well, that's a club. Can he get there? Oh, it's a slow roll from the dealer. <laughs> Five, six. Got Let's a ball. Improve. Picking up four additional outs. Looking for a seven or an ace. One card to come. Can Michael can find it? Cannot. Jack terrible. of Diamonds on the river. Sends the pot the way of Keith Johnson, and we do lose Michael Can in sixth place. Good game to you, sir. Really nothing he could do, Jay. Pretty handcuffed at that final. Sometimes that's what it comes down to. You've got to pick up some playable hands. Nice run from Michael. He is our sixth place finisher. Picking up 5,190 patterns. Good game, sir. That was the start of the heat, but. Yeah, yeah. So we are down to five. Michael Can, first player to fall. All players now with, as I check my notes, £6,750 locked up. See Tom Hall folding the deuce to be suited. Round to Ravi. Seems like an opener's chip lead up. Queen 9 off Absolutely. and cut off. Yeah, Ravi very much in the realm of do what you want. The shade under 100 bigs. Yanis now in that unfortunate spot where Hansi would potentially have gone after earlier. Now in the precarious second position. Not going to tangle. Ravi takes this one down pre. Now you guys see it. Ravi Chef. Six million chips. Almost half the chips in play now, Jay. Approaching. Yeah, just under. Yeah. Great spot to be in. Yanis always knows. He's going to have to navigate against this formidable lineup. Huh? Who's enjoying this one so far? Yeah, looking for that WSOP ring coming very close in August of the last year. Fall for 140k in the 3k main event in London. Always nice to get a little added bit of jewellery when you win a tournament, isn't it? I wouldn't know, mate. Oh, I have wouldn't have oh, I've, I've, I've had it in my dreams. <laughs> I'm talking about my dreams here, Andrew. But uh, maybe one day we'll feel it in real life. Maybe. Would you wear it, Jay? Would you, would you, would oh, you like, yeah. win, win the ring or the bracelet and just be down <laughs> flashing it? it? It would be worn everywhere, honestly. <laughs> it would not leave the wrist or finger. <laughs> one day, my friends, we'll be in there. I'm telling you. In the tag team in the summer, as we see Ravi take that one down. <laughs> Guys, payouts on your screen. 35k for the win, 23k for second. All of the top four players will receive five-figure paydays. Huh? And something like re refreshingly fast action. You know, you, you do see a lot of tanking. But that one of the best things, I guess, with the time bank for us, Jay, speeds things up a bit. N yeah, no. Nothing worse when there's no time bank final tables can sometimes be a little tedious, dare I suggest. Three bet Tom with some spatters. Yeah, we'll see. Action on Keith. The 6 5 0. Yanis here with the ace 5. Like this adjustment. You know, he, Ravi is in the big J, right? And he is going to put us in some really awkward spots in second chip position. we got rejam stacks behind. Actually, 
Actually, I'm a pretty big fan of that laydown from Yanis. Just aware of how our range has to change, depend on situation. We're not yeah. the chip daddy anymore, so we don't get to open any ace. Got to proceed with caution and 6-7 off here for Tom. I think one we do get to complete here. But probably going to be met with some bad news after he does know. Goes with fold. Nice little lay down there from Tom. Probably I think I like it, honestly. Like, Ravi's just going to isolate yeah. so, so wide here. We're, yeah. We can never limp call. Save half a BB. Just move on to the sure. next hand. I think I'm a fan, honestly. We did reference already. Tom, he's run the numbers. He's crunched the graphs. Yep. He knows what to do in these very cagey, shallow-ish stack situations at a final. Let's go. Forget about the numbers and the graphs. The quicker you fold the small blind, the quicker you're on the button. Simple as that. <laughs> Sorry. Ravi now really is in position, Jay, with the stack distributions. To potentially try and run away with this one. We'll see how things progress. Yanis did fold the ace five. A little different situation here. Yeah, it's nice it always that, fascinates um, me how these things change. You know, like now Keith's in the big and he's in third chip position. Yep. More appetizing, I think, to raise this spot. Not Ravi just, in the small. Yeah, not just that. What you just said, Ravi in the small blind. I think the main main reason as well, the position he's less inclined to get after it from. So Yanish going for the raise and take. Does pick it up. Nicely done. Yanis, though, still comfortably in second place. You know, almost double Keith stack in third position. Keith and Tom, 1.6 and 1.5 million. Nikolai now on the short stack. Around about 14 big, five handed. I've watched, I've watched all of them. I watch it a lot. I'll be honest with you, I've watched a lot of them. I've caught that one. With my big old net. Yeah. Nice. Supposed to three, but that was a pretty short. Only clubs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it tells you which suit to use exactly. to control the frequency. Exactly. <laughs> One and four, mate. Now then, Tom Hall, ace, queen off. In the cutoff, 20. Three big blinds or so. Excuse me, 25 bigs. Ravi sitting right behind him on the button. Certainly going to be a candidate, Jay, to consider trying to lean on Tom. Tom makes it 135 to go. Ravi here with the ace nine. Yeah, I could definitely see it. Ravi does get after every spot. Going to go for call with the ace nine. It looks. Very interesting, not standard. Does make the call. We are going heads up. Jack, Jack, three. Ace Queen of Tom, still best. Yeah, should be doing a, a lot of checking here, though, as Tom. Cut off versus button. Shouldn't really have any C bets. Want to be checking over to the button. Call him range. As he does. Yeah, interesting spot now for Ravi. You have a smidgen of showdown. Electing to take the betting lead here. Very Yo. small size, 90k. Yeah, between 20% and quarter here is Tom. Ace height. I'm going to call once. I'm going to struggle, though, to withstand the heat of the second barrel if it does come in on the turn from Rabi. The turn is the king of diamonds. Once again, Tom going to knuckle it over to Ravi. A tricky spot here, Jay. Ravi recognising, I think, this run out gonna hit Tom Hall pretty hard a lot of the time. It gives this one up. 
see Tom improve to Broadway on the river. Fortunately for him, Ravi with just ace high to, uh, to elicit too many more chips here. Yeah, I think we have to bet though, as Tom here, once turn goes check, check. I don't think Ravi's ever going to be checking back a Jack X. Just going to want to go yeah. bet, bet, bet with that. But we'll have a lot of this King X stuff that does want to check on the turn and get their value on the river. At 160 from Tom. Regardless of size, Ravi can't call, gets out of that. Yeah, nice little pick up for Tom. Consolidates himself into third chip position. Yeah. I thought it was very possible. Full house, straight, ace king, yeah, all those. Just three bets for free. Well, I told you what I was going to do with ace three suited, didn't I? That's, that's what I should have three bet called. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I should have. Ace ten off top. That wasn't, that wasn't verbally binding, all right? Fold. Falls round Seven. to Yanis in the small here and could be trouble with the King Six off to Nikolai. Just sub 12. Could just set Nikolai in here as Yanis with the King Six. Yeah, here potential we go. trouble. You called it, Jay, and Nikolai going to have a snap with the pocket eight. And he is going to be in great shape here to find that double up. Yanis, unfortunately for him, runs into it. Does have a live overcard. 1.6 million in the middle. Potential big chip swing incoming. Nikolai Mamut looking to hold with the snowman. This dealer, what's with the slow rolls? 10-5 <laughs> deuce. Is a backdoor straight draw for Yanis. Turn is a three. Oh, Looking for a king or a four. Can he oh. do it? Oh my goodness. Oh, what a way to go. the backdoor straight, Jay. Wow. Max Pain for Nikolai. Talk about Disgusting run out. The hard way. My goodness. That is brutal stuff. Unlucky Nikolai. He is our fifth place finisher. £6,750 will be scant consolation. It was almost right back in the mix as Yanis finds that backdoor straight. And just like that, Jay, four handed. Yanis, the wheels were falling off, Jay, but he's got this. He's got this screwdriver and the wrench out. What a run out that is. He had the, he had the spanners out in the small blind as well with the King Six offsuit. <laughs> Oh, poor Nikolai. Good game, my friend. Solid run. Great performance. Fifth place. Nikolai Mamut. Just like that, we are four-handed. Everybody, guys, now locked up. Five-figure payday, £10,000 guaranteed for fourth. All the way up to £35,000 to the eventual winner. just shows you Jay you can prepare as much as you want play solidly sometimes just not your day on the runouts unfortunate for Nikolai as we see Yanis now pocket sixes on the button gonna come in for a raise yeah, really. 125 to go that small blind so probably just gonna be getting this one through not sure if Tom's gonna want to defend big blind only yeah, always, stack. In, always interesting how things start to change you know now that we're four-handed there's less you know there's a little less what ICM pressure Keith and Tom round about the same amount of chips Tom deciding gonna start to defend a little wider Let's make the call <laughs> and he is rewarded all about timing ten. absolutely is Queen 10 10 rainbow Tom flops trip 10 
Let me check in this one over to Yanis. Gonna see a lot of small bet here. Just try and fold out, you know, a couple of random cards that have equity against our sixes. Of course, Tom has smashed this board. I'd be surprised. Oh, he has Seabet. Okay. Yeah, he has Seabet. Action is on Tom. Certainly go either way here, Jay. We do, of course, see a lot of check raising on these pair boards. He has done so. Yanis quickly releases. Tom Hall slowly creeping up the chip counts. Back over 2 million. Tracker catches up. And a little C bet of ADK. Raised to 250 by Tom, of course. Yanis quickly releasing. Did Pocket six is really going nowhere. We get replenished these on oh, right. this board. We get two more in the up here, that's it. Huh? We get two extra when we get here, and that's it. That's it? Yeah. Oh, it's mental. I'm almost certain that's it. It's literally insane. Yeah, that is it. It's literally insane. Oh, I've got six. All right, man, get it quiet. You're folding and knocking people off one by one Fold to two, get yourself a ladder. The guy just gets like the easiest rejects. <laughs> he's like, oh, look at me, I've got six. I've got six, I've got six tight, juicy diamonds there. Rabbi, Rabbi's Fold had like literally like uh, seven or eight time bank worthy decisions. Yeah, literally. Uh, I probably have one and I've used four. <laughs> you, used, you used two on a pre-flop fold. Uh, I used one. Did I use two? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah I you, no, he's, like, he, he's, like, no, Keith, Keith's right. I think once you use two. one, you should just put it in. You shouldn't put one. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> waste, I, I, waste I, I felt stupid after this. <laughs> waste of time. In both of those hands, I didn't intend to use time. What do you mean? I one. used two on a pre flop yeah, fold. That's yeah. terrible. I should just fold it. I'm wasted two. Oh. Action on Keith. Out of the way. Just four diamonds. Round to Tom in the small King Deuce of Clubs, 35 blinds deep. Uh, seems like one always going to be continuing, probably in the form of a complete. And Ravi here, pocket fives with the chip lead. Give a free flop to the small blind. A little bit of deception. Potentially doesn't want to raise and face more aggressive action from Tom. Comes Jack 6 3. Pocket fives of Ravi still best. Tom here. Not a lot going for him on this board. Content to check it over. Yeah, decision for Ravi here now. Whether to have a small probe or take a freebie does elect for the latter. Turn seven of diamonds. Tom, very aware, you know, this board texture with his particular hand. Not too appetizing to start putting money in. Let's have a smidgen of showdown against Ravi's big line range. We are checking through to the river is the Jack of Clubs. We'd like to see Ravi seek a little value here, Jay, I think, against check, check, check. Yeah, I think it's pretty clear. I don't even think it would be too thin, blind on blind here. Like, I'm going to make the assumption Tom, Tom leads a seven. He starts leading a six at some frequency on the flop. So yeah. five's just likely to be the best hand. I'm going to go for one BB of value. Yeah, I like this a lot. Everybody playing incredibly on point thus far. Treat for us in the booth. I hope you're enjoying at home. Tom yeah. now does have King High. His opponent can have some delay, delay river bluffs. And he is going to donate one more big blind to the stack of Ravi. Very well played. It's an additional 60k <coughs> into the stack. Yeah, can't fault Tom there for the call. Ravi's going to check back ace highs and better king highs. So when he does bet, 
going to have bluffs and some one pair holding so can understand it there from Tom wrong on this occasion Ravi adds more to the pile currently Ravi's world Yanis Keith and Tom in hot pursuit Great final thus far. Action back on Yanis. 10 6. Under the gun. Goes into the muck. Tom now. Ace 4 off on the button. I think four handed. Fine for this one. Attempt to steal. Yeah, absolutely. Likely to run into resistance as we see Ravi lurking behind. Nine ten of clubs. I think it's Ravi's hand just playing cool though. Don't think one that Ravi wants to free better this stack depth with Tom with like 33, 34 effective. You genuinely see these suited connectors free bet more at like the 70 bb stack depth so i do just expect to see ravi play cool here Five seconds. you never quite know with mr chef he does indeed make the call keith here queen jack off in the big yeah, 22 23 bigs it's going to come to the party yes. three-way Content to complete. We do have a three way pot headed to the flop. And how about that for one? Ace, five deuce with two clubs. Tom here, best for top pair. Gut shot to the wheel. Ravi flopping the 10 high flush draw. Now oh, this Ravi. is spicy. <laughs> <laughs> Ravi deciding I'm going to lead at this board. That's 160. And about one third pot. Deciding that he can lead here from the small. Potentially target some Broadway type holdings of Tom and Keith. Potentially yeah. get some better hands to fold. I think that's the idea. All this sort of king high, queen high, jack high stuff that Tom will be opening on the button. Yeah. Maybe some potential to pressure some pocket pairs down the streets. Interesting decision point for Tom. Does, of course, have the best hand. Cool. Yeah, I, I think, think for the most part, I think for the most part, going to be aware he's best. Hard to think of Ravi having too many better ace XJ that are going to lead here. Yeah, I agree. It's one of those that, like, if Ravi did elect a flat like an ace 10 or an ace 9 suited, would he ever lead that from the small blind? Probably not. If he had fives yeah. or deuces, would he ever lead that? Probably not. So, what on earth is this man supposed to have here? I'd be thinking, as Tom, once he leads this texture. A very intriguing spot, Ravi. Debates his options on the seven of hearts turn. Here come the barrels. Just never know. Interesting, really interesting hand. Non standard for sure. Comes again. 425k. Round about half pot. Aaron going to be setting up like a 70% pot river jam if Tom does make the call, which I expect him to. Feels like too, too much hand to fold. Yeah, and, I would and prefer to have this one, Jay, with the additional straight draw than a hand like an ace eight, potentially. That, yeah, I agree. And uh, I'm still going to be very suspicious of Ravi's lead on the flop of what it could actually be. Sure. And there's Ravi a now, rivers and nine. We do jump in front of some yeah. hands. Stuff like king yeah. X of clubs. Yeah, King X, Queen X of clubs, hand like 7 8 of clubs okay. if Tom can have it, right? That improves to 7 on the turn. Seems somewhat unlikely, but just going to check, try and take showdown. And Tom, recognizing here, hand a little too weak to go for river value, just going to knuckle it back. 
Take this one down. Tom Hall continues his ascent up the leaderboard. Up to a shade under 3 million now. We know how dangerous he can be with those chips. Closing in on Yanis in second place. Keith Johnson on the short stack. 22 bigs still to work with. Plenty of time. Really fascinating final, Jay. Lots of lots of stuff to dissect. I'm really enjoying this one, Andrew. It's always yeah. nice when you're not just commentating on it, but oh, learning no. as well. Um, likes of Yanis, Tom, Ravi, Keith, final four mentioned earlier all have made big FTs before countless times and it's been a very exciting watch I'm looking forward to see how it pans out whether Ravi will eventually slam the brakes on or whether he's just going to continue getting after it while he's got the chip lead and with players getting on their feet I'm assuming that we are going to be on a quick break Yep, absolutely. First break of the day, guys. So we will be on a short 15 minute or so break. Join myself and Jay for continued coverage shortly. Cheers. Cheers.
biggest player is in town. Find out why GG Poker is the world's biggest online poker room. So, why play anywhere else? With award-winning poker software, mobile-friendly gameplay, and unique features that you can't find anywhere else. GG Poker is now the world's biggest online poker room. So, why play anywhere else? the biggest poker tournaments with huge prize pools and massive monthly giveaways. It's no wonder GG Poker is the world's biggest online poker room. So, why play anywhere else?
I'm, I'm playing, I can't really talk right now. Yeah? Yeah. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Refreshed from our break, back into the action. Right, send me that immediately. Anyone just oh, joining oh, us? We oh, are four-handed right here. World Series this. of Poker Circuit High Roller. Oh. Ravi Sheth with the chip lead, followed by Yanis Liperis. And you see oh. in your screen there in second place. Completing from the small blind here oh, with the eight deuce of diamonds. Tom Hall in the big the battle of the dusty holdings nine deuce off for tom yeah and on first glance looks like an instant check but not always the case with these napkins in the big at small frequency can go for the polar rays on our best and worst hands but tom just going to knuckle on this occasion it does take a free one ace eight seven all hearts Yanis flopping best with middle pair Tom here, nine high, does have the deuce of hearts in hand. Yanis gonna open for one big blind. Interesting spot, Jay. Not the most appetizing heart in hand for Tom to continue. Deciding it's not quite strong enough, just gets out of the way. Yeah, completely agree, because a lot of Yanis's stabs will contain like one of the bare heart hands that he's bluffing sure. with, and then potential to pay off a bet against a bigger flush. Just getting out of there. And looking forward to the next two hours. Great first session at this final table. We saw some fantastic hands. Yeah, brilliant. Lots to pick apart. Lots of very strong strategic play. A few big bluffs in there. A couple of unfortunate all-ins. We lost Nikolai Mamut in fifth place just before the break. Fortunately for him, couldn't hold with pocket eights against the king six of Yanis blind on blind. So we are four-handed. What a lineup it is. Keith Johnson been on a tear on the high roller scene. He's our short stack at the moment, working with a shade under 20 bigs. Yanis Liperis in your screen now. On the button, 8 9 off. Coming out of the way. Tom Hall in the small. Potential clash looming here. King Queen of Clubs. In the small blind, working with 35 bigs or so to start the hand. Ravi Chef in the chip lead, lurking behind with the ace eight off. I think one that we start with complete is Tom against chip leader a lot of the time. Well, yeah. Tom disagrees, Jay. Undeterred. Yeah, one of these hands, you know, King Queen suited. It's so strong, blind on blind. Sometimes can be beneficial to just mix in arrays, try and get chips in the pot. Look oh. at that from Ravi, just folds the ace eight all. Forget complete, if Ravi's folding ace eight off, let's raise every single time as Tom. Big 4x sizing, meaty sizing, but Ravi didn't want to get involved with the ace eight off there. Surprised to see him let, let that go as chip leader. It's super interesting, you know, Tom is just such a tricky customer to play against. Will find lines that lots of other players won't. And you know, if he's playing a strong range there, Jay Wright, that's lacking in bluffs, like 4x, ace-8, does kind of start to shrink. I can see some merit to it, but it is a pretty tight laydown. I'm with you. Never fails to surprise you, Mr. Hall. We were like, yeah, he's just going to call here, see what happens. Nope. 4x to go. Speaking of fours, Tom finds two of them. Get fours on the button. Yeah, interesting one for Tom. Find these small oh. pairs. Yeah, goes with limp. Can definitely get behind it. Not going to be able to raise call off 16 from Keith, so. Yep. Save a big blind for the times that he does move in. Limp in the fours here. Ravi with Queen 5 offsuit in the small. I don't mind this. Decides to just get out of the way. It does have a shove stack behind. Can be dominated by some of Tom's limps. Just deciding to fold. Somehow Keith here dominated. The four five. Well, not anymore. King King five out flops Tom Hall. Got the free one. 
Tom here. Relatively disconnected. King King 5 board. Coming for likely one big blind. Yeah, seems reasonable. Just flushing out two over cards. The counterfeit outs. Uh, even getting Keith to fold like an 8-9 off here would be a win in itself. But Keith with two pair, not going anywhere. Certainly not going to be folding with the kings and fives. Yeah, no, Keith Does land on call. Clear check over to Tom. And probably one where Tom is going to be checking behind. I think it keeps calling range on the flop. Be king x, 5x and flush draws. Maybe some ace highs in there. Yeah. So, for that reason, I doubt we're going to see another barrel come in here from Tom Hall. Just on the hunt for showdown. Still ahead of some ace highs and some spade draws. Yeah, ace of diamonds rolling off on the river. Keith, not going to be thrilled to see this card. Of course. One thing I will say... Some... One thing yeah, I will say, do, do, we, do we expect Tom to limp much ace on the barn? Do you think uh, his limp range is devised oh, of declare. much ace in there? Or do you think they're ones that he just wants to try and raise and take? But either way, it goes check, check. So the five going to be good. Tom not wanting to turn the fours into a bluff. Still beating some spade draws. Yeah, absolutely. Nice pickup for Keith, of course. Every pot critical. When you start to get to sort of 15, 16 big blind stage, going to be thrilled to pick that one up. Still anyone's game this, Jay, of course, four-handed. Oh, yeah. There's going to be a tipping point where the chips start to fly. A couple of double-ups for any of these players. They're going to be right in the hunt to take down the title. Yeah, literally anyone's game here. Ravi with the chip lead, but we know Tom, Keith and Yanis shouldn't be wrote off. to Ravi gets out of the way Tom, did you win that three. Oh. Keith here 9-7 oh. off in the small blind no, Twenty big blinds to work with comes with limp <coughs> to Yanis with the computer hand 3-7-0 oh, the whole computer I haven't heard that in a while hey that's I'm showing my age son <laughs> yeah <laughs> I think it's just because it's Queen 10 well, Yanis has run the computer numbers and decided to check back. He does have Keith dominated here. And wow, what a flop. Queen 8, 7, <coughs> top and bottom pair for Yanis. Keith with some potential here. Bottom pair with back doors, two straights and flushes. Yeah, it feels like they're not yeah, so going anywhere. Yeah, we're likely headed to the turn. It feels like they're, they're better, they're big. Clear cut from Keith here, just a clear call with the seven, and oh. as Andrew mentioned, the back doors. Don't think we get to do anything else. Just take a turn out of position. Well, and how about that for a card, Jay? The ten of clubs rolls off. The plot thickens. Checks it over to Yanis. I still think Very Yanis... likely to still go want to go for value and protection here, Jay, with two pair. Yeah, exactly that. Although the flush does complete, we are blind on blind here. Range is so wide. Keith going to be calling all this like 9 10, 10 6 suited, Jack 10 on the flop that picks up pair and flush draw. But Yanis with the check back here with the Queen 7. That makes some sense also. You know, a little bit of pot control. Possibly thinks he's only going to get one more street. And if we do bet and get shoved on, for example, it really becomes a bit of a disaster. Keith, though, wants to try and take showdown here. Can still beat some, you know, flop bluff stabs of Yanis that have given up turn. King of Spades rolling off river. Yanis now, you would imagine, Jay, going to have to go for that street that we just discussed. Yeah, and how about Keith turning this one into a bluff here, Andrew? Because oh. ace, oh. ace jack not a thing for Yanis, so it's a relevant block oh, block in the ace jack. We got the key blockers blocking the nine six and the jack nine and the nine of clubs in there. And how about Keith just saying the words all in here? What a move this would be! This would be spicy. As Yanis has overbet this river, Jay. Yeah, so Keith, once he puffs out them cheeks, never yeah. thinking about raising. But this is, seems like a very delicious combo to choose, Andrew. If we're ever going to go for the bluff here. Nine of clubs in hand, blocking some two-pair combinations. Um, but maybe once the overbet comes in, deters him from doing anything but fold. 
I tell you something, Jay. If someone ever puffs out their cheeks <laughs> at me at a four-handed final, starts wringing their hands in discomfort, and then rifles in 1.5 million over my overbet, might just tap the table, stand up, and just walk out of the card room. <laughs> might be time. <laughs> when someone does that, where, where's the line? Second nuts, or do we even fold the second oh. nuts there? With the old puff out of the, che the cheeks and the uh, the XL. I gotta say, an an old boy got me in Vegas recently. They'll they'll, they'll do that out there, oh, the old boys. Oh. They will get you. I was absolutely seething. It it was it was a bounty, so you obviously have to play a bit more aggressively hunting your opponents. He gave it the 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 old puff like puff of the cheeks sort of discomfort, and then limped in mid position off like twelve bigs. And you know, old Mister Headley Muggins here, pocket jacks in the big line, couldn't get away. Of course you can't. He, he, he even slow rolled me. He even ah oh, ah oh, shrug. Okay, I'll put it in. Oh, just the aces for the big chap. Oh, there you go. Got me. <laughs> they will do that out there. They'll get you eventually. They got me. Interesting hand there for sure. Yanis going with overbet. Keith gets out of the way correctly. Cards back in the air. Ravi here. King seven no. Certainly some potential to open. Four-handed with a chip lead, but does decide to fold. Round two, Keith. Has this tricky stack depth. 19 blinds. One we could potentially do some limping with here, the 10-9 of diamonds, I think, on the button off of just south of 20. But important if we are playing a limp range to mix in some stronger holdings at a frequency, stuff like aces and kings. That is just going to go with the open, and it looks like best option is going to get the raise and take through. Yeah, raise and take for Keith. I'm being reliably informed that his nickname, Jay, is the Silver Pigeon, and I'm yeah. absolutely loving it. He's got two nicknames. He's got the Silver Pigeon, and he's got the Grey Hair Millionaire. They are the two nicknames oh. of Keith Johnson. you got the Silver Pigeon, which was his online handle back in the day, or you've got the Grey Hair Millionaire. <laughs> loving the Grey Hair Millionaire. And to be honest with you, that first come to light with me when Tom Hall joined me in the booth earlier this year. And funny, <laughs> funny enough, it was a high roller final table. And funny enough, Keith Johnston was on it. And uh, it was Tom Hall who actually informed me of those two nicknames. And everyone knows Keith is I mean, a silver pigeon. Loving that. Great That's got to be the name of, of, of a, you know... Netflix drama about a middle-aged <laughs> a middle-aged stockbroker in central London. My goodness, the grey-haired millionaire. Right, back to the cards and less of my strategizing about future blockbuster hits. <laughs> the, the silver pigeons at it again, gets it through with the ace seven. Slowly creeping up the chip counts. You can see Ravi Chef, 4.7 million. Yanis recovered from that big bluff early doors, back up to 3.7. It did look at one stage, Jay, as if Ravi could run away with this one, but the stack's beginning to sort of compact and condense. Yeah, I think a uh, key turning point was that ace-queen versus ace-nine hand where uh, Tom Hall had the ace-queen and Ravi done a few chips, brought Tom close up towards second in chips. And I think maybe after that hand, maybe a bit of confidence knocked out of Ravi. Sometimes you just take a step back, not get as aggressive as you have been getting. But look at this for Tom. Aces, second time on this FT, this time on the button. It really feels as if Tom has basically won every pot that he has put chips in. Always a good strategy. Oh, the best. <laughs> Absolutely. The... And he comes. Has he limped again? No, it does it look like a raise? A little aerial camera. Beautiful shot. Oh, guys. Oh, he has oh. limped! Wow, and he's got his customer. Oh my goodness me. How is your timing, Mr. Tom Hall? And, and Ravi thinks he is about to win a big one. And this is what my you talk goodness. about, Andrew, when you're limping on the button. It's so important. You can't just limp like the fours, the seven, eight suited, sure. the pocket fives at some frequency. It won't be full, but you will need to mix in these aces and kings to balance it out. And now... We've got our customer, Ravi, with the full 5x here with the ladies. My goodness. 
Music going off in Tom's head. Music to his ears. Now, is he going to continue the slow play? Looks like it. Makes a lot of sense, of course, at this depth. Especially, allow... yeah, especially against 5X. It seems a very polar size from Ravi, the 5X here. Like, going to be sure. at the top or at the bottom with some stills and a board which... Both players will like, both with the backdoor flush draw and over pair. Yeah, this is real, real grim times for Ravi. Has that over pair to the board. Queen of Hearts in hand also. Just the shade under 1 million in the middle. Tom Hall, round about two pots back. A little more and Ravi finds check on the flop. Potentially considering check raise. Yeah, could be the idea here from Ravi with the ladies. This is super interesting. Tom now deciding, do we want to start putting chips in now? Or I do think we, we want to slow play. Yeah, I think we have to bet here, Andrew's fairly connected board. Don't think we need to go too large. Still plenty to get called from in Ravi's range here. Fascinating pot developing here. Tom going exactly one third pot. Ravi likely thinks he's trapping his opponent here with the over pair to the board. Yeah, and when Ravi calls here, going to be working with just over a pot size yeah. bet going to the turn. And I think he might jam this one, Jay, yeah, honestly. Yeah, just has go rifled really it in. in. And Tom Hall has his man on the hook. Wow. Pretty much a stone cooler. Ravi looking for one of the remaining ladies in the deck to bail him out. Two outs once for Ravi Sheth. Can he get there? Oh, Cannot. Deuce of hearts rolls off on the river. Very unfortunate for Ravi. Pretty much a cooler. Yeah. Played out differently than normal. Tom with the limp trap. And just like that, Tom Hall takes a commanding chip lead. Yeah, nothing Ravi can do just to set up cold deck four-handed aces into queens. I know it's played yeah. in an unorthodox fashion, but was always going to get in at some point with these two holdings. Just on the wrong side of a caller there for Ravi, and we got a new chip lead up in the form of Tom Hall. And I'm very interested to see how Tom changes the gears now, because all final table, Andrew, he's been like that middling stack, hasn't really been able to get out of line sure. or do too much, and... I'm very intrigued to see if he is going to go through the gears now and start opening wider, start putting some pressure on and we'll see how the next 30 minutes unfolds. Yeah, really brilliant for us to watch in the booth. Hope you're enjoying it at home, guys. If you are just joining us, we are four-handed. World Series of Poker, Circuit Event High Roller. Tom Hall taking the chip lead, beginning to build that Tower of Chips. Really has been a fantastic watch so far. Everybody playing brilliantly well, it must be said. Very unfortunate for Ravi. He's put on a great performance thus far. Still with 2.2 million in chips. Still in the mixer here. First place, guys, £35,000. All four players remaining have £10,000 locked up. And all still in the hunt for the title and the World Series of Poker Circuit Ring. As the cards are back in the air. Tom Hall, Jack 5 0. From the cutoff. Yeah, well, not the best indication of how Tom's going to change his game because this one's always going into the muck, regardless of chip size. Over to Keith in the small. And could be walk for Yanis here. Five deuce off. Seems fairly close. Going to just let Yanis have that one. He's going to drag yours back. I'm still just loving the grey-haired millionaire. That is absolutely elite. That's it's as good great. as it gets. It is one of the best <laughs> nicknames you will ever hear of a poker player. So good. Speaking of things that are so good, the action has been so fast and furious, I haven't had the opportunity. It gives me the chance to talk about a big event upcoming this summer. Start of May, Jay. The Mediterranean Poker Party taking place at the Merit Complex out in Cyprus at the Merit Royal Diamond Hotel. Beautiful place. Been there many times. 
Guys, you're not going to want to miss this one. So many sick events. We have an 1100 1 million mystery bounty, 2200 2 million main event, 5300 buy in, 5 million guaranteed. Whoa. What a schedule it is. So, guys, check it out. EAPokerTour.com has the lineup of events. Going to be a sick one, Jay. And yeah, all information, guys, as usual, at DTD Club, at DTD Player. Go and check out the schedule for that one. Going to be a belter of a series, Jay. You forgot the best bit. All I ever hear you mention about Cyprus is the buffet every time. No, but there. I'm on a I'm on a diet. I'm trying not to think. <laughs> I'm trying not to think about those delicious desserts, those delectable starters. It really is amazing, by the way. <laughs> so check it all out online, guys. Unbelievable schedule there in Cyprus. Yeah. And I'm assuming the weather's lovely in May as well out there. Exactly, exactly. Even more reason to investigate, get your flights booked, get in the mix. As we see Keith deciding, getting out of the way, ace to do so. Such a key. That was a genuine... Uh, yeah. Nine Giannis, nine, seven of spades on the button. And I think this is going to be the first indication of how Tom's going to approach this chip lead here now. Yeah. Andrew with King 10 off here in the small one that we could definitely go for the free bet with. Make it like 550 now that we are covering stack. Let's see how Tom proceeds. And we've yet to see him miss a spot. And he's going to take it, Jay, you, like you suggested. Really good spot in general to lean on that second place in chips as often as possible, of course. Ravi and Keith on the shorter stacks. Does make it 625 to go. Ravi now. Ace six of hearts. <coughs> working with 25 blinds. Yeah, just gonna have to be a fold here from Ravi. I'll tell you what, if he if he finds the cold four bet rip here. I don't know where he's found it from, but surely Tell just... something, Jay. It's never impossible. And he found wow. it, Ravi. Chef, take oh. a bow. Oh, my word. Just recognizes the situation. Knows that Tom gets to go after Yanis second in chips and going to be free betting very wide here from the small one. This takes the same spot up and just moves in with the suited Asex. Ravi Chef <laughs> going to be getting... A near 50% stack increase, closer to 40% just from getting this through. I think pretty clear that Tom's not going to be calling this off with the King 10. It's getting 2 to 1, but. Yeah, against the perceived 4 bet all in range, King 10. Deep in the CJ, you know, I like that one. This is a great, great play from Ravi. What a find. Well played, sir. Yeah, well played from both. I like the 3 bet from yeah. Tom, and then the cold four bet from Ravi it takes some heart to move in there I tell you that this is one tough final well played Ravi Chef back up to three million or so fascinating battle unfolding four handed great hand I'm with you though Jay it takes a lot of minerals to pull the trigger there to pull the trigger to pull the trigger if you're wrong in that spot, you can look really foolish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> very, very aware of the dynamic that Tom going to be going after Yanis pretty wide. Great and to be, fair, to be fair, he's chosen a good uh, candidate as well as suited right. Asex. Removal with the ace, and when we get called, that little smidge of equity to go with our three out up with the flush draw. Yeah, when they've got kings, you just ping it, right? It's of easy. course. Easy. Ah, really nice find from Ravi. Been on a great performance, looking to shake off that cooler versus Mr. Hall a few moments ago. So we see Tom, 10-6 of clubs. Come in here for a raise from the button. Bounce to Keith, 7-8 of hearts, Jay. It's up 20 bigs. That yeah, seems like one that We'll just be defending a lot of the time. Don't call yet. Keith Thinking about does jamming. does find the wow. jam. Everybody is going for it at this final. Yeah, and let's go, Keith. Like seven, eight suited. Eight higher for 20 BBs. 
Don't I mean, mind yeah, it. Right. Because, Tom, because I don't mind it either. Tom's going to be so wide, right, on the button. And, and, and the great thing about using a hand like that, rather than, let's say, a, a hand like an ace -X, is when Tom calls, as long as he hasn't got a pair, an over pair, he's not going to call ace-8, he's not going to call ace-7. So the times he does call the ace-king, ace-queen, ace-jack, king-queen suit, so on, we still got a nice healthy 40% with that hand. So not the worst one to choose. Not going to have no interaction with the calling range when Tom does call, unless it is one of those big pairs. So when we do run into the ace king, ace queen, etc., we've still got a healthy 40% equity. Everyone making the moves here at this yeah, final I'll table. Tell you is something, Jay. Whoever takes this down is going to have to earn it. That much is clear. Amazing stuff. You know, you know, we have to promote the game, but this one really is living up to his billing. You see, Ravi. Queen 6 0 on the button. Taking a little inventory. Yeah, thinking about opening here, don't think we should into Yanis's big when he has us covered and does let it go. Another walk for Yanis in the big blind. And there's the prizes. Nice five figure paid out for everyone. 5k ladder. We can outlast one more opponent. I think a great watch so far. Came in with Yanis with the chip lead. Ravi then had the chip lead for a good hour or so. Now it's Tom Hall sitting pretty at the top. Yeah, stacks are flip flopping. Everyone going after it. Great stuff. Y'all just joining us, guys. The YouTube streets. Four handed. World Series of Poker, Circuit High Roller yeah, Final Table. Ravi Sheth, Keith Johnson, Yanis Lipperis, and Tom Hall, all in the hunt for the title. As we see Keith fold the button, Yanis waking up with a real one, and here we go. Another clash imminent. Pocket nines for Yanis. Super strong holding, four handed. And Tom with a very strong holding of his own. King Jack suited. Yeah, this is an interesting one. I think Yanis just always having to complete, sitting second in chips. Tom covering stacks, so I think we're just supposed to complete all our continue range. Over to Tom and see what he does with the King Jack of Clubs yeah, here. Really interesting. You know, Yanis going to have one of those hands that for chips, going to play limp raise. But when we're second in chips like this, sometimes the waters get a little muddy, Jay. And you know, Tom, if he's going to ISO real wide, I wouldn't be shocked to see just call here from Yanis. You know, we don't really want to get it in here, right? Yeah, I agree Against completely. Against the chip leader, and we can keep in all that weak stuff. Have a disguised holding. I think he has landed on call. 720k in the middle. Oh, king of diamonds in the window, followed by the jack of hearts. <laughs> and the five of hearts behind. Top two for Tom Hall. And not the best flop to see for Yanis. Like even Tom's bluffs, like yes, it will hit some of his value, the king, queen, king, ten, king, jack, ace, king. But a lot of his bluffs will be like king, deuce, off, king, three, off, like all the offsuit, king, x, to apply some pressure. So really horrible flop to see here for Yanis. Yeah, Tom does see that one third part. One of the problems here, of course, against an aggressive opponent, they are going to see bet this board extremely often. Yanis feels as if he has to keep Tom honest for one street. Tough to blame him. Doesn't yeah. have a heart in hand. Not ideal, but does make the call. Seven of hearts on the turn. Tom not going to be thrilled with this card. Of course, Yanis going to have some flushes. He's going to have some hands like this. A pair that doesn't want to get it in pre. Queen 10 types, Jay. Queen 9s. Yeah, it's got a still have a fairly wide range. Blind on blind, even versus 4x. Like, does have sure. some flushes. But once you look at his range as an overall spectrum, going to have some king x, going to have some jack x with a heart, like some jack 10 off, 10 of hearts, jack queen, queen of hearts. I think still a lot out there that we want to get value from as Tom. So reaching for the second barrel. Yeah, very nice. Like it a lot. Comes for 60%. And now we're just Yanis. caged. Yeah, grim. Nines shrinking rapidly. Let's it go. 
you know, basically losing the minimum once more, Jay. We've seen that from Yanis. He did run that one big bluff, but other than that, really has played very well. Pot controlled well with and without it. Tom um, continues to stack chips. So many fascinating hands for us to pick apart in the booth. Great stuff. Yeah, it's been loads. I could like probably six or seven. And the table's been running for close to three hours. It's uh, a lot of hands that had a lot of talking points. And even the hands like the, the aces versus queens seem so standard that it's just going to go in pre and played in a different manner. I don't think you're going to see too often there the way that Tom Hall and Ravi played those two hands. High level thinking going on from these four. Looking for 35k payday. Yannis going to open the king seven offsuit on the button here. Yeah, another decision point for Tom Hall. Pocket fours in the small. 35 bigs or so deep. I think you can go a couple of ways, Jay. Wouldn't be shocked to see jam or call. Don't think Tom is going to use a 3-bit fold. And there is that jam. Flexing. Sends it in. Says Yanis, you're going to have to find it, buddy. Yeah, very nice from Tom. Just recognizing the pair likely to be best. Can flush out so much equity of overcards. Difficult to get dealt a pocket pair in this game. Sure is, my friend. Feeling like a bit of a fanboy here watching this FT. Everyone, everyone's playing amazingly well. Can't really think of any poor decisions from anybody. Great stuff for us in the booth. Hope you're enjoying watching at home. Gonna have more coverage, guys. Coming through the week tomorrow, we have a high stakes cash game. Myself and Jay will be back in the booth. If you enjoy watching the cash game streams, please join us tomorrow evening. And then on the 24th, World Series of Poker Circuit. Main event final table time. Speaking of final table, happy times. Tom Hall, he's found them again. On the button again. Hat trick. Oh, this is potential trouble. Oh, yeah. Here comes Tom once more. Ravi, we know he likes to get after it, Jay. Facing a button open from an aggressive opponent with all the chips. Ace, deuce of diamonds. Yeah, so could potentially be thinking about... Whoa! Not nice that! <laughs> timing. I weren't expecting that. <laughs> uh, I was going to say, he could potentially be thinking whether to flat or whether to free bet here. And he goes with the other option. And what a time to do so. Amazing stuff. Going to hand it to Ravi. Putting on a clinic here at the final. Just that one cooler has gone against him. Consolidates his chips in third position. Tom Hall out in front, Yanis in second, followed by Ravi and Keith. That beautiful aerial shot once more. Action back on Tom in the cutoff. Finding the heat when it matters. Another premium holding four-handed. Ace Queen of Hearts. And yeah, from the table's perspective, it does just look like that Tom is getting after it. Oh dear, oh, this is trouble. Dear. For Keith. The only way that Keith could potentially save himself here is if Ravi got out of line, but can't see any other situation where Keith Johnson doesn't say the words, I'm all in here. Andrew. Yeah. Sometimes you're the bug. Sometimes you're the windshield. This one, 20 bigs against someone as aggressive as Tom. Got to get it in there. And in they go. Yanis gets out of the way. Tom snap calls, of course. Ace Queen suited. Far too much hand. Considering oh, yeah. anything else. Can the grey haired millionaire 
continue to be in contention. Needs to find a jack or some kind of straight or flush. 7-4-3 with two spades. Keith drawing very thin. Does turn chop out. Looking for a 7 or a 4 to stay alive. Or one of the remaining three jacks. Can't find it. Queen of diamonds on the river. We do lose Keith Johnson in fourth place. Another fantastic showing from Keith on the high roller scene. Well played, sir. Nothing to be done. He's jack four-handed. We do lose Keith in fourth place. Picks up £10,000. Great performance. And just like that, Jay, we're down to three. Yeah, always plays very solid, does Keith Johnson. That was his seventh final table in the row in the space of two months. So seven FTs in a row for Keith. And out of six of them FTs, they've all been on high rollers or super high roller events. So six out of the seven FTs he's made, the last seven, have been either a high roller or a super high roller event. So well done, Keith. Another five figures to add to the resume, but we are down to three. Great stuff indeed from Keith. I'm sure he will be hopping in to the main event at some point this week. Guys, if you're interested, still flights running of that main event. As I mentioned earlier, we will be covering the final table on the 24th. Getting my days all mixed up, Jay. 24th, that is Sunday. Right, we got there. Final table on Sunday, guys. If you love tournament poker, get yourself down to Dust Till Dawn. Flights of day one still running as we speak. What a three-handed we've got here, Jay. Yanis Leperis, Tom Hall, and Ravi Sheff. Yeah, poker star, royalty. Star get studded. It. Right, Tom and Yanis speak for themselves are actually close to the same live earnings 3.3 milli for Tom Hall and 3.25 milli for Yanis Liparis and then Ravi who has had an unbelievable 12 months sort of started racking up the caches August July time of last year and then since then has cashed in every month since so three top-notch poker players the only one will take home the £35,000 and the WSOP circuit ring. Couldn't agree more. Tom now, more than half the chips in play. Time to leverage said stack. Queen Deuce in the small. Just to complete. Ravi here, king three of clubs. 30 big blinds deep, Jay. Yeah, I think one that wants to play check, suited kings, do make for nice checks at this stack depth. It's just horrible when we do elect to go for the ISO and get free bet and have to fold our hand, hand with decent playability with position. Does indeed check back. Ace of spades, ten of diamonds, nine of diamonds flop. Tom here, queen high. It seems like one that's going to be going check, check fairly often. That Tom may show aggression because of his chip lead. And I think Ravi's king free in our head now. We already want to think about showdown with the king higher blind on blind. So it does go check as well. Deuce of clubs on the turn. Tom now vaults into the lead. And going to look for a little protection here. And fold out two random cards. Deny Ravi the opportunity to realize comes with one big blind. Does it get the job done? Moves that stack up to 7.6 million. See now, around about 12.7 million in play. 60% or so plus of the chips now in Tom's stack. Ravi and Yanis with their work cut out to haul him in. Yeah, all three of these players have had the chip lead at some point at this final table. And fit in that they are the final three for the podium finishes. 15k locked up. Seven and a half buy-ins for the 2k high roll-up. Always nice as well when you can go into the main event after locking up a decent score 
in a previous side event earlier on in the week. Always nice to just get that confidence going. Tom opens on the button. Unknown holding. Makes it 160. Ravi out the way with a queen four of clubs. Yanis suited 10 in the big. Could definitely get amongst it here. It's time to sweat with Tom Hall. Mystery hand underway. Yanis does decide to defend. Are we technically not sweating with Yanis? I'm, I don't know. Sweat with both, mate. Why not? <laughs> Double sweat. Give, give, give us an action board so that we can do something. Oh, it doesn't look likely. <laughs> Queen nine do its rainbow. All I'm saying is it's hard to sweat with Tom when I can't see his hand. Yeah, but we're, we're supposed to work it out in the booth, oh, mate. Okay. You're, you're supposed to say, oh, he's double-barreled, right, representing X, Y, Z. He's not going to have to represent much here, I would suggest. Yanis, just 10 high into the muck it goes. Technically, you're right, Jay, but I never let that get in the way. <laughs> <laughs> but on we go, three-handed. Tom starting to put the foot to the floor. Every one of these small pots he picks up. Puts his opponents further and further into the rear view mirror. I was going to say, considering it's a WSOP, we should get the old beef jerky uh, wild card. Oh, out we should, yeah. right? Love that. Used to Remember love that back days? in the day. Like, what's oh, that, about brilliant. 15 years ago? It used to come up. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Jack Link's beef jerky wild card That's hand. That's it, the wild card <laughs> hand. Listen to Norman Chad talk about his 18 wives oh, and decide funny. what people had. Good times. <laughs> Speaking of wives, the ladies, pocket queens for Ravi. Oh, and he's going to mix in a little limp. There's so much mixing it up going on. There's been some high-level thought processes going on. Yana selecting here not to complete. Makes some sense, right? There's some potential collision equity, as I like to call it, if Tom and Ravi get involved in a big one. Tom here with the stone bottom of range has decide to check. Yeah, kind of a, a different dynamic. Look. If it was versus small versus big, maybe we'd see Tom raise, but against Ravi's button limp. Just going to check, and Ravi drills middle set on King Queen A. Does find the slow play. Very creative stuff here on this final. Jack of Clubs turn. Unfortunately for Ravi, Tom, just with such a dusty combo to even consider bluffing. Ravi now decides time to attempt to spring the trap. Try and get action from a hand like a 10. Traps, Some kind of a jack. That was one of your traps. Unfortunately for him, Tom with no peace. You know, we talk about run good Jay at finals and in tournaments in general. Even just fading, picking up any piece to your right, it's pretty yep. important. Like that just, just comes just like... unfortunate for Ravi. Like even like seven four five, just or even like ten seven three, we do some tricks, right. just little things like that. The unhidden yeah. run good that people so don't talk about. I gotta say, been extremely impressed by the level. Not surprising. All three of these guys, beasts in the field. As we move onwards, three handed. 20 in green. How much have you got? Okay. How much have you got? Is that 20 in green? Yeah. 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 Action back on Yanis. It's out of the way from the tenders. Lines are now up 500, one, 500, excuse me, 5100k. So Tom now recognizing both opponents. 25 bigs or lower. 54 off. Actually does give a walk to Ravi. They feel good, they do. Walks when you never expect them. Uh, 
at just the 5 BB separating Ravi and Yanis. That's still 23 big blinds, short stack as Yanis. Plenty of wiggle room. You know, always fascinating stuff. Tom now likely to try and leverage this chip lead. Pressure at the two shorter stacks. Of course, a double up from either, and they will be right back in the mix. You see Tom on the button. Queen deuce of clubs, content to open. Makes it 200k. Yanis now edging down towards 20 bigs. Queen eight off in the big blind. Big one that should be defending free handed as Yanis. It does flick it in. Does have to come dominated here with the superior queen. And look at this. Top two pair for Yanis. Potential trouble for Tom. 20 big blinds behind for Yanis. Tom here. A couple of options, Jay. Wouldn't be shocked to see check back and does find it. You know, some of these worst Queen X can play nicely for a little bit of deception. Checks behind. Now Yanis with top two. And now it's a decision here whether to lead or go for the check raise. And I think with stack sizes, can just go for lead. Try and get chips in. Don't want Tom checking this one behind. Want to get the betting lead ourselves, build a pop. And Tom got the perfect hand to just call with position and take a river. Never raising, never folding. Big river incoming, Jay. Pot going to be swelling to 1.1 million or so here. Tom likely thinks he has the best hand with that de deceptive flop check. Is he raised? Oh, he should be kind of raised, could he? Seems like the clearest of calls. Right. Yeah. Yeah. A little confusion with the dealer. Big river coming. Five of spades completes the board. Neither Maybe. player going to be thrilled with this card. Yeah, it's not like a situation as Tom as the opener doesn't have much success. 6x because he will be opening like 6 do suited here as the right. chip leader. So he can still plausibly have a lot of straights himself. So Yanis checking and uh, Tom Hall done terrifically well here to lose what looks like it's going to be the minimum. Don't think we get to value bet here. And uh, losing bare minimum there with a queen do suited as Tom Hall. Well, he lost two, two, uh, three BBs on the flop. Yeah, pretty amazing stuff. We've seen some fantastic pot control from Yanis and Tom in these types of situations. And yeah, Tom going to be thrilled to get the news really if you're going to lose the pot, Jay, that's not a bad situation to find yourself in. As you said, three big blinds post only. Unfortunate river for Yanis. Likely gets paid another street on a blank. Case. Very timely pickup. Takes himself back level with Ravi Sheth in second place. I'm loving watching this though, Andrew. This is this is a great, great watch, this final table. This is high level. Brilliant stuff. Ravi. Gonna continue the limping strategy here. Ace 10 0. Tom once more. Pretty much stone bottom of range. Saw this dynamic a few moments ago. And Ravi Limp Queens. Surveys his options. Let's check. Once again, it comes up empty. 985 with two clubs. Ravi, two over cards. Backdoor and up flush draw. Does decide to start betting. That's one and done.
Mikey Tom. Seven million in chips. Bavi and Yanis neck and neck. All three players now locked up £15,000. 23k for second place. Of course, that elusive grand prize, £35,000 plus the World Series of Poker Circuit ring up top. So we see action folding to Tom Hall in the small. 8-6 off. Yeah, it seems like one we do get to complete and continue with blind on blind as chip leader. As I say, you never know if Tom is just going to get aggressive because of this substantial chip lead he has. And Ravi and Yanis sitting tightly packed. Two are free and three are free. Yeah, I think it makes a lot of sense at stack depths to just try and leverage. It can be very difficult for Ravi and for Yanis to defend as wide as they would like. Yep. Of course, the fact that they both have exactly the same stack size. And I think that Ravi folding King Do suited that quickly there gives us a great indication of how good it actually is for Tom Hall to raise close to any two right. small blind. The fact that he's folding as high up as King Do suited means that we're just going to probably fold out like 60-70% of hands that Ravi's going to have in there from the big uncapped. Always fascinating to see how strategies develop. And gotta say, like the fold, just so so KJ having that same stack size as Yanis. Both players at the moment, Jay, kind of in a race, right, to get heads up at the moment yep. with the way the distributions are. And here we go, Tom, just gonna rifle it in. 28 effective, suited ace eight. Knows how tight the players have to call off behind and over. And just picking up a quarter of a milli. One starting stack every time we get right. one of these jams through. Of course, every time Tom takes one pre, just chipping his opponents further and further down. Cards back in the air. Ravi on the button. Ten do so. And Yanis just aware he's going to get pounded on if he completes. So just lets Tom Hall have a walk. It feels like a critical 30 minutes or so coming up. Either Tom going to run away with this one or a rally from Ravi or Yanis. The thing is, like, Ravi or Yanis double through Tom Hall. Suddenly, Tom's down to, like, 4.6. Exactly. 4.6, and uh, Yanis or Ravi would have the chip lead, so it can change so quickly. Absolutely right. And two formidable opponents who are not just going to allow themselves to go quietly. Round two, Tom in the small. Jack 10 0. Ravi with 2.6 behind. And once again, Tom putting the hammer down. Certainly feels like that time in the tournament. I think it's good for Tom as well that he's aware that he knows he's up against two very studied opponents that are aware of the situation. Like, he, sure. he probably wouldn't be able to shove the Jack-10 off if he's up against someone in the big that would call, say, for example, a hand like Ace-9 suited or something like that. He probably wouldn't be able to do it, but it's great for him that he's got two very good opponents at the table that are studied in these spots and are aware they have to call very tight. So he does just yeah. get to send it in for 26. Yeah, I'm with you. So I'm going to get to do a lot of open shoving. At 25 deep. Round to Ravi. King Jack off in the small. First blind on blind confrontation that we've seen between the two of them. 
And he decides to do the same. Sends it in. Yanis just king six off. A little bit of posturing here, I would suggest, Jay. Can't see us ever running this one. Yeah, just into the muck. Let's go. One thing that's been very refreshing, pace of play, rapid. Haven't seen a time bank used for a very long time. All three of these guys, very aware of what they're doing, what the strategies are. So great for us as well when the uh, the action's thick and fast, no illegitimate tanking going on, people just getting on with it and taking no longer than 10, 15 seconds of decision. Great for us in the booth, great for everyone watching at home, just thick and fast action, what we want. here for Yanis. I think still need to complete here even with Tom in the big blind. I think slightly too high up to just give him a walk on this occasion. Yeah, I'm with you. Going to have to scrap for every part. Course three-handed. Blinds and anties coming thick and fast. Going to get eaten away if we don't stand up to the big stack. Yanis completing. Tom content to check with that 5-6. 300k in the middle. 10 in the window, followed by a 9 and a 3. Yanis drills top 2. Very yeah. aware here of who he's up against. Going to check it over to Tom. Has an interesting little hand wrapping around the 3. Yeah, I think Tom's got a pretty nice one to stab here with a 6 high. Has the function of folding out stuff like jack high, queen high, king high, but is going to check and does pick oh. up the up and downy on the turn. Action turn. Four of clubs rolls off, and Yanis finds the double check. Perhaps aware that Tom is going to pick up equity on this card. You know, going to allow him to potentially start firing off. I can't see how Tom can check this back again here, Andrew, with six high and an up and down. And he's going to take the bait that Yanis has thrown out to him. Beautifully played thus far from Yanis. And Tom's gone meaty here, two-thirds part. Now, Yanis, with the decision point, Jay, do we continue the charade? Just click call, or is it time to spring the trap? It's, it's a really awkward one because we expect Tom to like delay stab a lot of his hands once we check twice because it doesn't look right. like we have too much so we can have a lot of his hands drawing dead i think that's the problem here we've got as janice like if tom's just stabbing like a, a random hand say with a club to bluff rivers we can have certain hands in tom's range drawing dead and sure. uh, I, I guess we make the assumption that he is going to um opt to bet 10x maybe even 9x on the flop but looks like Yanis is going to go for the aggressive route it is the only way that we are going to get all the chips in by the river and then we do get to dictate that action with the betting lead back in our court absolutely Tom now potentially inwardly cursing himself Jay for not taking the freebie yeah I don't think we can check this back though and take the freebie i think our hand's too good not to stab once yanis checks twice and we don't expect him to be too strong but yanis very tricky customer as we can see there does get the stab from tom after elect electing to check the top two on the flop yeah, great stuff compelling viewing guys if you're just joining us i'm andrew headley in the booth with the wonderful Mr. Jay Harwood, three-handed here in the World Series of Poker Circuit High Roller. What a battle it has been. Fantastic final this far. Tom Hall still way out in front with the chip lead. Ravi Chef and Yanis Liperes not going quietly. Still anyone's game as we see Tom here. King 10 off in the small see if he decides to continue this pre-flop jam strat that's what i was thinking andrew we're shoving jack 10 for 26 are we shoving the king 10 for 26 like how are we construct in this range of hands we want to shove and hands we want to complete i or... think he will likely do it you know typically 
at the depth. We do a lot of open shoving with hands that just have pretty good equity and split our range in terms of, you know, opening really strong hands and really trash hands. All the stuff in the middle, more than good enough to rifle in. Does it again, gets the job done. back in the air. Tom here, King 9 on the button. I'm just deciding here. Do we just open? Let's decide. To raise the 200k and Ravi with the in vogue hand. Yeah, I could just see the all-in here from Ravi, like Tom, probably going to be folding 70-80% of hands that he opens from the button. We got the ace in there for removal. The powerhouse, when we are called, always going to have 33% versus any hand in the deck other than aces that we block. So it seems like a nice spot to do this and we'll be working. Ravi does exactly that. Quests the all in triangle. Gets myself back up. Three million. We are on a 40 minute clock, guys. Blinds 5100k. Next couple of blind jumps. Jay likely to put the cat among the grey haired pigeons. <laughs> you like it? Well, yeah, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shame he finished fourth and he wants to let the table, though. <laughs> I know. See, yeah, yeah, see. Yeah, I promise. I didn't. I didn't write that one down. I was just, you know, just come to you. It just, it just came to me, man, organically. Now then, Ravi, pocket fours. Tricky combo. Yeah, I don't even hate this. Sides just to get out of the way. Knows he's going to get leveraged very often by Tom. Yanis with the rejam stack and the rejam hand. Ace Jack. Complete shove, I think, works best here off a of 25 when Tom's supposed to raise high frequency. So it does go with complete. And then we've just got such a comfortable jam if Tom does elect to make this free BBs, which he has been doing quite frequently. So it seems like a very nice spot for Yanis. But Tom, timing impeccable. Slowing down this time and getting to see a free flop. And that flop, King Jack 5. Yanis, middle pair, top kicker. Backdoor straight and nut flush draw. Tom, just eight high. Yanis deciding, gonna one BB this one to get value. Well, worse Jack, five, some queen highs and draws. Fortunately for him, Tom with no hand. You see the payouts, guys, in front of you. Thirty-five thousand pounds up top. All three players locked up fifteen k. While the dealer shuffles the cards, guys, if you want to know about anything Dust Till Dawn related, please follow our channels, social media, at DTD Club and at DTD Player. Lots of new content coming your way throughout the year. Big things upcoming. Got this brand new, beautiful looking set as we see that lovely aerial shot once more from above. Please give us a like, guys. Give us a follow. All that, all that modern, newfangled stuff. I don't really understand, Jay, but you know, I'm in uh, there I'm, trying. I'm, I'm, I'm the same. I'm, I'm, I'm in not, there trying, pal. I'm, I'm not even 30 <laughs> yet, but I am uh, so out of touch with all this social media stuff. It's it's unbelievable. You wouldn't believe it. I only learned what a tweet was about three years ago. <laughs> I actually, I'm only joking. Yeah. I, even I know what that is. <laughs> The only way I find out the news these days, Andrew, is when I'm at a poker table and someone says something that's <laughs> happened around the world. That's literally my news these days. So, Ravi with the freeze. Yeah, quite like this from Ravi. 
I like it even more when the three of spades is the window card. King deuce three. Tom, we did speak about this hidden run good, Jay, and he just hasn't flopped a piece when either of the shorter gentlemen have smashed a flop. Yeah, but is one that... Ravi, gonna get <sighs> at least 100k out of Tom. Yeah, I like Tom's stab here, though, with the 7-5. Does the trick, folding out. Stuff like 8 high, 9 high, 10 high, jack high, queen oh, high. Sure. He does have a little bit of backdoor equity if he faces a call. Ravi going to trap this one. Makes the call in position. And here we go. One of the worst cards in the deck for Tom. Seven of hearts turn. Very likely, Jay, to think he's best now. Ravi going to have, you know, a lot of 3x, 2x, and 4, 5, 5, 6 types. Some queen highs, some flush draws that you referenced. Tom likely thinks he's best now. He's going to check it over. Yeah, with the intention of check calling here, you expect. Fairly wet texture now. Two-tone on the turn, bringing backdoor flush draw. And definitely going to need to be calling once here as Tom. Yeah, this is going to be a test for Mr. Hall. More than 300k in there, guys. We had a 1 BB and call flop. By my calculations, it makes 825k in the middle. Facing a shade over, what was it, around about 60% pot here from Ravi on the turn. Tom, going to make the call. We are off to the river. Fairly inconsequential. Four of clubs rolls off. Tom checks it over. Oh, Going to have a tough time folding this, I think, as Tom. Tough. Once uh, we have this five in here, removal to ace five, removal to five six. I, both hands that Ravi will call on king three deuce. You got to remember the flop actually the wrong way around on the graphic. Come king three deuce seven turn. So it's going to be a real tough decision here for Tom, especially when front door hearts brick out, back door spades brick out, and we're unblocking both of those, and we have a five in our hand. It seems like a very tough one to fold, and Tom wastes no time before making the call with the 7-5, and just like that, Ravi closes the gap at the top, and Yanis out right bottom of the pack by himself now, but still with 27 bigs to work with. Once again, fascinating stuff. High level thinking processes from both. Tom recognizing Ravi's gonna have enough bluffs here. Feels like the seven just too strong to get out of the way. With that key five in hand, makes the yeah. call, gets the Se bad news. Seems like the best catcher in the deck, to be fair, Andrew. Uh, seven, five, unblocking both flush draws and with five in hand, removal to the straights for value. Maybe maybe King Five is the uh, the only better hand, which would be top pair, but cannot fault Tom Hall for paying that one off with his particular combo on the river. Absolutely. We see Ravi. King Nine off in the small blind. Gonna come in for raise here. Yanis, 25 blinds, Ace Seven off. Certainly not folding. A couple of other options, of course, available. Yeah, may just... Oh. He's content just to call. Certainly will have considered jam. Makes the yeah. call in position. I think it would have gone through his head. Jam oh. there as Janis. How's about that for a flop, Ravi Chef? Queen, Queen, six. Flops, trips. If we do elect to continue, going to be a very minuscule size in here. Does go for what looks like between 20% and quarter. And expect Yanis to call once here with A7 high blind on blind. Do think 75 from Ravi. I do think Ace high definitely needs to call once blind on blind specifically. Yanis does take the turn. Five of hearts on that turn. Ravi with the check mark. 
find turn check. Interesting spot, Jay, because he's not going to give Yanis too many ace highs, right? He's going to think that a fair few of those would have sent it pre. Yep. But I guess we do get another street, or we should, from a six. Sure. Um, so probably going after that and obviously charging some potential spade draws. But Yanis now with the a seven can't do anything but give up on the hand as he does. And Ravi closes that gap even more on Tom Hall. Uh, absolutely. Tom had it all his own way for a short spell. Ravi rallying. Yanis, of course, still in the mix. 20 blinds. Things can change very quickly three-handed. This great battle continues to unravel in front of us. Continues to unfold, actually. So it's, it's not unraveling, is it, Jay? Nah, I Come on, think I'm, I'm folded to the better term. <laughs> Yet another dealer change. Kudos to the great staff at DTD. Always on point in all aspects. New dealer. Three-handed here, guys. World Series high roller. What a final three as well. You've got two legends of UK poker in Yanis and Tom and Ravi, who probably the most informed player, or at least one of in the UK, over the last 12 months. And it picks up Big Slick on the button. Yeah, what a time to find it. Three-handed at the final. Comes in for a raise. Round two, Tom Hall in the big. Are we sweating with Tom again? Wait, right, sweating with right, Ravi. Andrew, I keep getting it wrong. I, I, I keep getting it wrong, mate. I was mate. just about to jump in. I was going to say, I'll give you two <laughs> two chances, but three strikes. I make but. my own rules, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Tom makes the call. King for a diamonds. Dominated by Ravi. 10 7 7. Two spades, one diamond on board. Ravi's still best with ace high. Is content to check back here. Be aware his opponent. He put us in some tricky spots with check raise. Board pairs tens. Is high, of course. Still best. I think check back with the intention of going for value on river here as, as Ravi with our race high target some queen high, king high stuff. We may go for the value think right we can off the bat. can go either way. Yeah. Sure. It's one of these hands that we, I don't think we're ever getting two streets from on the double paired ball with ace high. So, yeah, sort of think to ourselves, how's the best way to get our one street? Do we go for bet on the turn or do we check back and go for bet on the river? Either way, Tom not sticking around yeah. with king high, just chooses to let it go. Nice fall from yeah, Tom. Always interesting spots. Always interesting spots. Those ones, we can deny some equity. But also, you can open yourself up, Jay, to potentially getting raised. In any case, Ravi gets it done. Quite the recovery from him, Jay. After we saw that big cooler, Queens versus the Aces of Tom. Right back in the hunt now, basically neck and neck with Tom Hall running for this title. Yanis with work to do. Of course, three handed blinds and antis will eat up that stack very quickly. Nothing to be done with the 8 3 0. Um, just the walk for Ravi. Has taken the chip lead, Jay, to 5.6. And I think um, blinds are likely to go up in the next 10 minutes. And Yanis now sitting there with around 2 milli would put him south of 20 BBs.
Action on Tom. Seven eight of hearts. From the button. He's gonna come in for a raise. Makes it two hundred to go. Yanis really been card dead for some time. Queen five off in the big. Hasn't folded yet. It's a situation where, like, we're aware we need to start getting involved. Blind's coming around so quickly, free handed with big blind ante, and it's just annoying when you keep looking at trash and can't really get involved. But eventually, we'll need to make a stand, Yanis. Just such a frustrating time when you hit that bottom of the barrel distribution, not when you want it free handed with a high roll up. Uh, remains disciplined, waiting for a good spot. Still see Ravi that. here, king seven I just, I just, I just on the button three-handed. <laughs> I was like, oh man, you might win. You might win. Maybe, but you know, the prophecy. The prophecy foretells, if you don't bubble, you just win. Oh. Does open, makes it 225. Prophecy. Tom once more, <laughs> wakes up with the four deuce O. And let that one go. Yanis now edging towards that danger zone. 18 blinds in 250k. Every three hands have to find something soon. Say again? No, I, I, I'm not getting any messages. Are you not? No. I'm not really... I'm not really so bothered, to be honest. I, I could message someone about specific hands. Yeah, yeah. There's not really been anything that I've been like... If it was a big FT, I probably would. Yeah. I would like. I'll just. I'll just text my mum for about. I wanted to know what you had in that three's hand, so I paid you. You know, I didn't need the stream for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, yeah. yeah. Unfortunate run out. That was. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But you made two fair. No, no. Oh, I don't think. But so. I just had a really good call on the. River. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Seven five. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Eight saying? seven suited here yeah. for Giannis. So like, Off so of nineteen yeah. on the button. Yeah. Is he just going to choose to go of it now or go for the raise? Not all in sizing. I could definitely see jam here from Yanis for 19. You have called it, Jay. Sends the chips in. 1.9 million. Ravi here. King 9 0. Does ask for a count. Does feel intuitively like a little too much. Flicking call. Yeah, I don't think uh, we get to ever call King Nine off here. Don't even get to call King Nine suited for 19. Sitting comfortably at the top as Ravi. Neck and neck with Tom. Don't want to pull ourselves back down, double Yanis up. S suddenly go from one of three to three of three. They're good, them little pickups as Yanis just keeping that head above water. Yeah, absolutely huge. Can it feel like you're drowning, yeah, getting I'm chipped down? It's a timely pickup. I didn't like it when you bet a million. Why? Well, because I was hoping you'd bet less, obviously. Oh, right. What should you do for a shot? For a moment, I thought you were going to bet like 600, and I was thinking you put a million in. I was like, what do I do if you shot? I don't know. Hard to say. It's the same thing, right? Effectively. Like, Hot. Just such a clean catcher. Really, so. Round two, Ravi in the small. Six feet off. Look at this. I'm going to say, Yanis wants some action here. Finds ace 10. Does get his wish. Ravi yeah, gonna... raises to 350. Yeah, going to get a lovely spot to jam here. One thing I would say uh, as Ravi, when Yanis has 19, maybe we don't need to go full three and a half X. Maybe we can just go three X if save a little bit for the times that this happens Yanis does jam and gonna be the snap fold but like the raise from Ravi gonna construct our range in that spot 20 effective with some all-ins and not all-ins and the not all-ins want to be very polar our best hands and our worst hands 6-3 falling into that remit of worst 
But unfortunately, Yanis just waking up with the goods in the big. And up to 2.5 mil again. Once more, Ravi and Tom neck and neck. Yanis within touching distance, one double. All it would take for him to take the chip lead is starting to get a little shallower. Next blind jump. Ravi here, Jack 5 0, lets it go. Round two, Yanis, 7 8 off in the small. Yeah, similar scenarios before with the 9 10. Still got to try and get amongst it free handed. Even if we're aware that Tom will sh show some signs of aggression behind. That Jack 8 offsuit seems like one that wants to check, sort of middle in a range. Does check back in position. Flops, top pair, Jack 4 deuce rainbow. Janis, not too much working for him. Have a couple of backdoor straight draws. And check it over to Tom. And could you see stab here from Tom for one BB? Go slightly more. Either way, same result. Yanis can't do anything with eight high, no draw. Quickly out of there. And Tom regains the chip lead once again, only slightly. And all three players jockeying for position. The cam before the storm, potentially. A little quiet spell. All three players, of course, so accomplished. Very difficult to extract chips from them. See Yanis once more on the button. 9-4-0. Tom Hall, a magnet for the four deuce off within this last 45 minutes or so. Aaron looking like could be walk for Ravi here. Indeed, Tom lets it go. Here we go. Tom Hall, Ace Jack on the button. We see Ravi lurking behind in the small with pocket nines. Yeah, Two one. Very hands, Jay, in a three handed game. Yeah, massive hands, three handed. But one thing of note to mention straight away highly unlikely this will get him for 40, like 43 effective. It's. Uh, Two very strong holdings, but Yanis sitting there. Now the blinds have gone up, which is just 17 big blinds now. And here we go. See from Ravi straight off the bat, just choosing to call the nines in terms of chips. We would basically always play free bet. But with Yanis lurking with 17. Trying to keep the pot small versus Tom. Just opts for call out of position. Yeah, plays very nicely. We can call a squeeze shove from Yanis. Tom gets out of the way. King eight deuce. Pocket nines of Ravi. Still best. Is that nine of spades in hand. Working for him also. Tom with just ace high. Seems like one that is going to have higher frequency C bets on the king eight deuce as the opener as Tom. But then again, ace high could already be thinking about some showdown as well in a free handed setting. It is just going to go for the range bet on the king eight deuce. Finds yeah. quarter exactly. Yeah, makes a lot of sense. Very disconnected board. Ravi, of course, going nowhere. Pocket nines makes the call. Ten 
Ten of Hearts turn. Opens up opportunities for Tom. Turns a gut shot to Broadway. Ravi still best, of course, with nines. Yeah, Tom I with the decision point here, Jay. Yeah, I think big decision point as Tom, whether we do just hunt for showdown and check behind, trying to showdown cheaply, or whether we do want to start targeting some stuff like some pocket pairs, some 8x suited in there, or maybe line up a free barrel versus a king, but goes with the first option just on the look for showdown here. And Ravi with the nines. Could it block for 1BB ever be an option here, potentially? I yeah, guess. I think it's in there for sure. Like, Tom will have some 10x that want to check back turn, for sure. But I think small size, if we're ever going to bet here, is Ravi. As mentioned, could even go for the 1BB with the nines. It looks slightly more. Yeah, it looks like quarter pot. Goes for the B25. Target a hand like an 8. Like a pocket pair. A hand like an ace deuce suited type. Or even ace deuce off, of course, from Tom and a button. Any pairs worse than a nine. Looking to get a little value. Tom now does pay the piper. Gonna flick it in, Jay. Hope to be up against some kind of a brick flush draw or worse. Yeah, five to one on a call. Only going to need to be right around 17% of the time, but just really those flush draws that we are beating, maybe some sort of 6-7 suited floats with a backdoor flush draw that Ravi may have in there. That does pay it off as Tom, and now Ravi, a bit of leeway between him and Tom now. Healthy 13 big blinds in front. A little bit of daylight developing. Played fantastically today, Ravi. The yeah, that to, awful, say I'm with you. awful caller, caller four-handed queens into aces, four-handed sick one to take, but then just took it on the chin, got on with it, and chipped back up to the chip lead. Now, healthy one as well. Sure. Here we go, Ravi on the button eight five zero. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna open this. Yeah, this with the reshove stack. Oh, potential looming. Yanis, pocket nines in the small. Yeah, Yanis can find the complete here. Andrew, he's going to get it a lot. He's going to get it all. And he does yeah, find the complete. Go. And Tom here doesn't really have a decision. 16 bigs, ace five suited, facing a complete. Should hear those words. Or as you know, Tom... Mr. Hall likes to <laughs> signify that triangle, Jay. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Oh, he hasn't done it. He's, <laughs> he's verbalized it this time. In Not they this go. time. <laughs> Yanis, snap calls, of course. Pocket nines. <laughs> and here we go, guys. Three-handed all in. Critical point in the tournament. Can Yanis find the hold? 66% of the time, he will. Oh, the, the slow rolls from the dealer today. Seven, three, six. Tom does flop a gut shot. Looking for a four or an ace. Can he find it? Seven outs once for Tom Hall. And it's a four on the river. Wow. Finds the gut shot and drives the knife into the gut of Yanis. GG, my friend. Yanis Le Paris is our third place finisher picks up fifteen thousand pounds for third place great performance from yanis as always gg sir great run and jay we have our heads up lovely tom hall ravi chef fitting these two a heads up both played some great poker so far this evening and this is going to be a deep battle because I think it's like 6.5, play 6, so 50 bigs effective when we return for the heads up, just getting some confirmation on how long the short break is going to be, and then yep. Andrew and I will return. Absolutely, we are going to go on a short break, guys, just get things organised for heads up poker. Join us very shortly, and we will be back to conclude this World Series of Poker Circuit High Roller Heads Up. See you shortly. See you soon.
Ravi, Ravi, Ravi. Here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Don't mind, I don't mind coming. No oh, sorry. Cool, sorry. Thank you, thank you. Which box am I using? This one? Doesn't matter. So we are back, everyone. Which box am I using? down to two. We've got Ravi Chef. We've got Tom Hall. Heads up, about to start, and these two 50 effective. So not expecting short and sweet. Tom with slight chip lead of five BBs. Yeah, welcome back, everybody. Heads up. Good series of poker circuit. Series high roller. Tom Hall versus Ravi Sheth. Tom opens the button with the pocket jacks. Ravi immediately outflops him. Queen 10 4 with two spades. Immediately flops top pair. Tom content to check back here. A little bit of pot control and deception with the hand as strong as jacks. Yeah, unfortunately for him, Ravi actually snagging the one over card to his jacks on the flop. Yeah, going to go for value immediately, Jay. Look to target some of these pot control type holdings, some showdown value that Tom can have. And we can see he has a lot of it. They make the call, of course. Pocket jacks can't be folded to one bet. Yeah, two thirds. Be a bunch of draws in the range of Ravi. And this is a really bad card for Tom J, right? Queen pairs the board. All the draws brick. Worst in the deck for Tom Hall. Because cannot see him folding now, Andrew, unless Ravi chooses an extortionate sizing. But right. once once we check back Jack's on the flop, how can we fold? Val uh, Ravi could value better 10 here in a heads-up scenario. And look wow. how sick this is. I was wow. literally about to suggest, Jay. Can we find the check? You know, Tom is going to feel compelled, I think, to value bet a strong 10. And he also could bluff, right, with a hand like 7-8 that just pure gave up, turned a double gutter, something like this. And this is going to work out beautifully for Ravi. My goodness. What a spot developing. Hand one of heads up. Right. Tom thinks he's value betting for sure, Jay. <laughs> this could be grim. Yeah, kind of fit in the way this final table's gone. That heads up first and we get this sort of action. Story of the night so far. And now it comes down to size that Ravi wants to make this here with the Queen 9. But going to just go with oh, Cool. Wow. Just goes with Cool and sees the Jacks and Tom. Not going to believe it. Once Ravi just calls, I'm slamming the jacks down there, thinking I've got the best of it. I was about to say kudos to Ravi for finding check here to set up a check raise. You know, most of the time, people are too worried their opponent's going to check back. Potentially, you know, we don't want to nitpick, Jay. Maybe the first little strategic error from Ravi, not finding raise on river. Great result for Tom, though. Would have been in the blender as it stands. Nice pick up for Ravi. Nice big pot. And one of heads up. Yeah, Tom's absolutely fist pumping there, oh, right? Oh, Just... You would be. I'm doing handstands <laughs> and cartwheels when I see Ravi turn over his hand. I'm doing a lap of the feature table. It's all going on. But um, do, you, do you think maybe the 80% sizing from Tom on the river there sort of deterred Ravi from um, playing for race? Because I think I think if Tom goes half or less, it, it, Ravi's always raising, but maybe the 80% sizing is what made... I, mean, it, I guess, like, potentially Ravi may just think that Tom's weighted towards bluffs and not enough thinner value, right? Yeah. It was the only thing that really makes sense. But you would expect Tom at depth to see bet you know, queen, ten, queen, jack, king, queen, ace, queen. So unless we run into, like, pocket sixes only, right? Yeah, agreed. I think. But in any case, nice pick up. And here we go. Ravi raising the button. Deuce, five, oh. Tom puts the chips to work. He bets king, queen. It's a quick fold. It's, you know, it's very easy for us to say, Jay, always, of course, right? From the oh, comfort yeah. of the booth. We're oh, so why here. haven't you raised? But, yeah. You know, so easy when you can see the whole cards. Sure. I do think it's reasonable that, Tom, that Tom's going to have a lot of bluffs here and not that much 
in value. I think he will bet a 10. That's the problem, though, when you're yep. against someone as good as Tom. He's, he's going to bet a good 10. I agree. I think most 10s he'll, he'll go for value with as well, sure. not necessarily just a good 10. I think the, the other factor, once you go a level more, what's Tom's calls on the river? Like, does Ravi think that Tom's calling ace 10? Does he think he's calling king 10? I guess this is a question we've got to ask as well. Sure. A yeah, very he... interesting one right off the bat. As we see Tom here, 890, raises to 260. Ravi, content to defend with the suited queen four of clubs. Ace, Jack, King. Ravi still best here with just queen high. Aaron, Tom on the board as he open up. Do we expect to see Seabet with just nine high? Although it's kind of an interesting one because we never actually fold out a better hand, do we? Because all the 10x and 10 highs and queen highs are calling with their gut shot heads up. Obviously, any pair is calling. It does just go I think for the Tom large bet. Just very astute size and choice here. You know, we want to put max, max pressure on those type of holdings, Jay, that you suggested. Maybe a weak jack even it really starts to become indifferent. But Ravi, sticky, sticky, finds a call on the flop. Any uncomfortable situation for Tom. Six of diamonds on the turn. You know, this very large flop size from Tom, designed to disincentivize the weaker parts of Ravi's range from continuing, but undeterred. Clicks in the call. Tom now. The decision, Jay, whether to line up the blast off or give it up. It's a really tricky one. But as you say, Ravi's going to have all this suited 10x, queen x with the backdoor flush draw that will fold. And like all the jack x as well, going to be in a really tough spot. And wow. There you go. Tom Hall. Beast mode activated. Nine high. Sending the barrels in. It's going to be working. Ravi going to have to fold the best hand now. No questions asked. Cannot continue. Oh, my goodness. Oh, <laughs> Oh my word! What? Ravi Chef finds a turn call. And is this just thinking that Queen <laughs> High is the best hand here? I mean, it has to be. We're out of position. Not going to be able to donk bluff many rivers. This is spicy. Knew it was going to be a special heads up. This oh. deuce of spades not changing a thing, so... Maybe Ravi thinking that Tom's going to start checking like uh, a lot of his one pair hands. Like he's not going to bet King Queen or King Ten twice. I don't think Queen Jack right. Jack Ten all this stuff. And even maybe some of his weaker Ace X might start checking. So maybe Ravi thinking that Tom condensed to like the stronger Ace X two pair plus or just complete air ball here. He's but found the jam. Oh, with the all in with the nine high. What a guy. What a move. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> what a hand. Wow. Both players, fantastic from both. This turn call from Ravi, wild stuff. And Tom finds the you no equity it, treble yeah, off so for his tournament here. life. Bravo, sir. Uh, well, uh, uh, if it continues uh, like this, Jay, we're in for a treat. What a hand. What a start to heads up. I was like a little fanboy there. I, I, I exclaimed with such glee when he jammed River. You were. There was a little period. Brilliant stuff. Take an absolutely ridiculous hand. No, no, no. You didn't take the. You didn't take the liberty. Yeah. No, I wasn't taking the piss. Action back on Ravi, King three. Going to complete from the button. Round about forty-five bigs deep. Tom here, Queen Jack O. I think potential to go either way with this one. It's going to ISO. Yeah, I think at this stack, that fine. 45 effective. Can put some juice on this and back over to Ravi with King 3 offsuit. Not the most appetizing hand to look down at. Not too much playability, but King High can definitely be the best of it in a heads up situation. But forget that. Yes. These this is boys great. have come to battle. 
and put on a show for us. There's no waiting for hands. They are playing some poker here, bowing it out for the high roller title and the WSOP circuit ring. And going for the offsuit high low here as Ravi. Tom going nowhere. Hands too good, Jay. Tom says the price is right. I'm going to see three makes the call. And what a start to this heads up. 2.2 million in the middle. Board very bricky. 994. Pretty good texture, Jay, for Ravi to continue to tell a story that he was trapping pre. Yeah, don't need to go big either. I can go very small on such a dry texture here. As Ravi goes for 310. And uh, still expect Tom Hall to take one off here. Uh, Andy, three to a straight, yeah. two over cards. But no, let's it go. Let it go. Eight Perhaps to one thinking price. that he can just be dead, Jay, against some of the real, real value. I guess, yeah, the aces, the kings, potential yeah. carnage when we do snag the top pair, but eight to one on a call with the two over cards. Heads up, they're going to let Ravi Chef take that one and more of the same, please. What a start to this heads up <laughs> bout. Hope you're enjoying this at home, guys. Heads up. I'm Andrew Headley, joined in the booth by Mr. Jay Harwood. What a final table we have had. Really has been compelling, fantastic viewing. World Series Circuit High Roller, Tom Hall against Ravi Sheth for that World Series of Poker Circuit ring title. £35,000 also to the winner. Stacks very oh, even. Geez. Tom limps the button with 10 8. Oh, excuse me, is it tossed in a raise? Makes it 260 to go. Ravi with Queen 9. We've been here before in the big blind with the Queen 9 offsuit. Oh, wow. This is actually really interesting to see because it was the same stack depths when Tom had the pocket jacks. It was 6.5, play 6 milli. And Ravi had the exact same hand, queen nine off, but this time are choosing to get aggressive with it. So just showing that he can mix it up with any given hand in any given spot and can make it very difficult to play against. Yeah, Ravi here to fire, as is Tom. One million chip lead for Ravi in the early stages of this heads up battle. Still, Tom, do you still want the next break or do you want to get rid of it? Up to you, entirely your choice. 15 minutes. Maybe make it five? Yeah, or just back keep that. In the air. I don't mind keeping it because not, you're not going to get in the PLO anyway, right? No. Oh, and here we go. Potential clash. Ravi. Pocket fours on the button. Tom with a real premium holding heads up. Ace Jack. On zero chance that they could get this one in. All going to depend how Ravi wants to proceed here against three bet because it is coming. These guys are swinging. Haymakers for the fences. Here it comes. Raised to 300 from Ravi. On. Three bet makes it 1.2 million and potential for an all in here, oh, Jay. Wouldn't be shocked. Oh. And here we go. And three of heads and up. They've got it in. Oh, wow. wow. 40 bigs like plus. That? Not I shocked really to see it. it. The way they've been slugging. And this could be it. If Ravi holds here, we have a champion. Ace in the window for Tom Hall. Outflops the fours of Ravi Chef. Does have back doors to the wheel or looking for one of the two fours in the deck. Very bad turn. Needs a four or a four only. Put a three there. Would be a ridiculous chop. Three for the fans to keep the heads up deep. That's what we want, but it's the Jack of Spades on the river. Two. Big doubles for Tom, uh, up to 12 million. He leaves Ravi for I'm 1 sorry. million chips, sub 10 BBs. And Tom, oh my goodness, 12 to 1 chip lead there. Uh, all in pre, a pair versus Ace Jack heads up, seems fine. And that Tom winning this huge coin flip. 
Gives us a moment to catch our breath. We knew this was going to be a battle for the ages heads up. And it has been... Everyone's slugging, Jay. Everyone's throwing fists. Four hands in. And we have our first all in. And Ravi, sub 10 BBs. Right on tightrope. Have yeah, to try not, and fight back. Oh, not gonna that. lie, Andrew, rooting for the free That's there on the river. The I'm way this heads up started, <laughs> fifth, like the way it started, I'm fifty not, effective. I'm, I'm literally the, just been jaw dropping to watch. Yeah, it's yeah, I'm just I'm fixated just at the screen. Free, and yeah, now twelve to one chip lead for Tom yeah, Hall. Gonna be a different game. Just all in or fold basically now. But was enjoying it so much. These two fifty effective battling it out. But huge flip going Tom's way. I know, it's almost a shame, right? I know, <laughs> very much enjoying the strategic battle between the two. But Ravi, he's come back before. Certainly, we don't rule out him doing it again. Tom comes out on top. It's, a, it's like a uh, habit, you know? In that coin flip. Chaotic start to the heads up. Ravi, very short now, looking to spin. I've blown bigger leads than that yeah, as well. Though, it's, uh, before you know it. Yeah, yeah. Ravi now. In the big blind Sorry. does it find Ace8. Uh, six. six nine seven. fifty, sort of. Less, less. Just less. Less. Get an account. Uh, yeah, nine hundred, yeah, yeah. Nine hundred. Just nine six off. Oh, yeah, nine fifty, you're right, yeah, nine fifty. Oh. Gonna come with complete here, Jay. Yeah, well, gonna be. Nice easy one for Ravi as the all in gets it through. You see there, Tom, 12 million in chips. And Ravi with a mountain to climb. 2.2 million only behind. He's got a man. You never know, mate. Sometimes I worry I haven't looked at my cards. Might be, might be playing the PLO. Yeah. Who knows, mate? Yeah. Or we could be uh, playing in another two hours. Ravi now on the button. King 4 0. Decides more than good enough. Sends the chips in. 9 BBs. Gets it through. Tom, quick fold with the Queen 5 0. You see the payouts in front of you. Both players guaranteed £23,000. Winner taking home 35 k Plus that World Series of Poker Circuit ring. Yeah, a nice one to have. Tom Hall already with a WSOP bracelet to his name, winning the online event last year in the summer. And it would be looking for his first first place finish of the year. Two final tables so far in 2024 for Tom Hall. Coming second twice. So looking to close this one out for the first bit of silverware. For the trophy cabinet and Ravi finds aces, heads up. He's got some work to do to close this one out. Ravi with the best of Which, the best. Can he, find, aces. can he find the check here though, Andrew? That is the question. I that think goes, he can. It goes with all in. I'm not a big fan of this jam. You know, we, we've basically had nothing to critique this entire final. You know, I think we could still have some, like, ISOs here off 11 bigs, off 10 bigs. It's not, you know, typically something you see that that often. Yeah. You know, hands so good, we're at such a disadvantage. Don't really want Tom to be able to limp fold. Yeah. I quite like check jam, kind of with you. Check, check yeah. or small raise rather than jam. The main function behind it as well is off of 10 BBs. Uh, Tom does a lot of open jamming with most of like his range that would call off anyway. So like his limp range is going to be a lot more polar with hands that can yeah. call. Therefore, smaller proportion of range that can actually call us off for that reason. And obviously with two aces in our hand, like removal to some of the calling range as well. But I think check could have definitely been an option there for Ravi with the boots, but went for all in. Did get Tom out of there. It's different for heads up. It's all void. It's all void, Ravi. Frustrating from Ravi, of course. Want to get action with the boots. He is rallying. Hand by hand. Sends it in once more. King five of clubs. 
And of course, Jay with every blind and anti he picks up. Edge I'll of that stack. Flip for the up and up. Clean. Couple of doubles, and you're right back in the mix. Simple flip. No ring for you yet, man. No ring. No ring. Not yet. That's all it is. Two I double ups. Yeah. And we're yeah. level pegging again. Yeah. I've been very lucky in this tournament. You've, uh, you, yeah, it's pretty good, uh, pretty good on the FT. Pretty good run. I've yeah. made some strange decisions. Action on Tom once more. 960. And now 12 BB effective. Does continue the limping strategy. Ravi going to check here with the 9 deuce. Queen 3 Jack. Both players with. Tom, of course, here with position. He's going to go for the 1BB stab. Ravi here. Just 9 deuce. Oh my goodness. Jay Harwood. What is going on? He finds a raise on the block. How does he do it? How does he know? <laughs> wow, Ravi. Save yourself a time. Okay. I guess thinking that, you know, lots of Tom's queen highs. Going to just send it pre for 10. Yeah. Even the suited jack highs as well are going to send it free as well. So it's uh, maybe in the mind of Ravi that uh, trying to make way, uh, find ways to make chips that others wouldn't. I don't think many people are going for the two and a half X check raise with nine deuce off on queen jack free rainbow. I'll tell you that for sure. Got to hand it to both of these guys. Played pretty much not perfect. The two of them, fantastic stuff. It's not going to happen. No. And Tom going to want to get the job done as quickly as possible, Jay. You don't want to give Ravi too much encouragement. We see Ravi here limp the button with 8-6 of diamonds. And Tom picking up a premium heads up. King 10 of clubs. Yeah, and one that does look like wants to get aggressive. But going to go for the not all in size in it, looks like. As Tom. Yeah, I think... Pretty normal heads up, I think. We want to raise call this one, Jay. And a little too good to jam. Yeah, Ravi folds 8-6. I, I lost a flip for the win. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Oh, I lost a flip to Mr. Hall for the win. <laughs> I'm trying my best, mate. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, but I'm more, I'm more of a second place finisher, to be honest. Uh, that's my nature. <laughs> Leaving Tom just down there, I'm more of a second place finisher. As that's just mentioned, okay. two it's seconds this yeah, year yeah, yeah, hasn't yeah. closed one out yet. Exactly. I'm but win this big favourite here yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. with hefty chip lead over Ravi Chef. Hefty chip lead is right. A dominant holding here. Jack 7 0. Content to limp once more. Ravi here with the 7 deuce suited. A check. Ace, 3, King. All clubs. Tom here. 91% favorite. Has the best hand and the second nut flush draw. Looks like going to go for the 1BB and going to be hand over. Ravi, a couple of napkins. Can't do anything with the 7 deuce. Oh, he's well, not. He's not again. <laughs> Is he it's feeling not, He hasn't right? called. Oh, <laughs> my goodness me. Ravi, Shed. If you have designs on this part, my friend, you're going to get in trouble. Deuce of clubs on the turn. And here he comes, Jay. Gonna lead. Represent that flush. Man, it's so unpredictable here. Wow. Goes for 270 and leaving pot back on the river. Was he floating the seven deuce to go after it down the line? And he's setting up a pot size river jam here. Tom Hall with a clear call. Never raising here with a jack of clubs. It's just clear as day to call. Want to keep bluffs in of our opponent. 
Yeah, this is a little Hollywood from Tom. Can't see any universe that Ravicek calls the queen of clubs here and leads. You never know, though, with Mr. Sheth. River is the five of hearts. Hot back, Jay. Uh, it could be over here if Ravi pulls the trigger, but does shut down at the right moment. Just recognizing here, actually, on the turn that Tom basically has to have a flush once he calls because the ace x and king x like the the two pairs aces up kings up are probably going to shove pre the ace x and right. king x at this stack depth so just sort of recognizing here once tom calls this turn he's always going to have a flush and now just going to be folding the seven deuce and living to fight another day yeah but I'll with you. love the heart of ravi absolutely <laughs> love it someone that's just throws combo out the window and just says you know what I'm going to get after it in this spot is he thinking of jamming here Andrew no I don't think so just posturing oh my, time, goodness. oh my goodness oh he Whoa. thinks it's deuce could be good calls with the deuce so specifically has to think that Tom has called the turn lead with garbage to bluff River when checked to. Right Ravi literally very, has very to think right that Tom is getting so way out of line and just floats yeah, there no, with a zero no, equity really hand right. to bluff River, hoping that he checks. That Optimistic. Size, He's plugged it into the yeah, Ravi no. solver, <laughs> unfortunately <laughs> on this occasion. The wrong it's output. Bit on the turn as well. Not to, to, that out of the bit. computer. To be it's fair, I have seen Ravi make a hero call, call free King streets in a free bet pot yeah. with King High correctly <laughs> in a cash game on stream before. Well, so he has them in the locker. He does like. Well, to here we go, Jay. Off. This is it, my friend. Ravi pocket sixes sends them in. Tom, quick call with King Ten. This could be it. Ravi needs to find a hold with the sixes. Versus the two overs off Tom Hall. Do we have a high roller champion or can Ravi keep this match going? Flop time. Here we go. And the king in the window propels Tom Hall to the lead. He's just fading two outs to become the champion. Well played. Well played. And well played. does on the tenor clubs river two just pair for no, Tom yeah, Hall. And Tom finds it, Jay. King and a ten. And we have our oh, champion, yeah. Tom Hall, takes down the World Series of Poker Circuit High Roller event. Commiserations, Jay, to Ravi. Fantastic performance. Second place basically came down to two coin flips at the heads up battle. What a final table, Jay, that has been. Congratulations to Tom. Fantastic performance. One of the best finals we have covered together, Jay, I would say. Any yep. fi any final thoughts from you, my friend? Fantastic uh, to watch. Just great throughout, uh, from start to finish. Coming with six players. Love the fact it was six max FT. Um, and just a great performance from Tom Hall, as you expect at final tables. One of probably the most studied players in the UK when it comes to ICM, which you need at the FTs. Saw him run that massive bluff heads up with the 8-9 off, which was probably the turning point that got the ball back in his court, swung it the right way, and then won a couple of flips to send Ravi Chef to the rail. But well done to those two and everyone else that cashed in this event. And it was a thoroughly enjoyable watch this evening. I'm with you, my friend. Absolutely. All I can do is echo those thoughts. Absolutely fantastic final. And that is it, guys, from us for the evening. All that remains is to, as always, thank you all for your continued support. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Thanks to the players. Thanks to the staff at DTD as always tomorrow night myself and Jay will be back in the booth we will be covering the Friday Night Poker World Series of Poker Circuit Edition so please join us for that and then later in the week on the 24th on Sunday the World Series Circuit UK main event final table and as for this evening we're done guys all that remains to say is good night from myself 
and good night from Jay, and we will see you back in the booth tomorrow. Good night. Good night.